What's up? What's up? What's up? How's everybody feeling? How's everybody doing? Hope all is well. What is going on? Shana, how are you? Kurt, what is good? Give it a second. Wait for some people to roll in. Roll in. No, I'm trying. See what is good. What is going on? Do a few things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What up, what up, what up? Philly Slow, what's good? Chris Stevenson, what is going on? AK Lover, what is going on? C Man, what is good, my guy? What is up? Hope all is well. Jason, 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 what is good, Broski? What up, Grant's dad? What up? Rolling in, James Gordon. What up? Yo, yo, yo. What up, peoples? What's going on? What up, brother Dust? How you doing? I saw you last night on the Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. They sent me the link, and I was just like, okay, I guess I'll go and be a, a nuisance over there. You know, I like their uh, yeah, their live chat is funny. Yeah, they like it's a, it's a bunch of shit talking, arguing. I like to enjoy all that shit talk. <laughs> you can, you can tell they argue like they shit talk like a family. Man. That's, <laughs> That's exactly what it is. No different than in the store. You know that. Yeah, man. What up? What Yo, up? should start having the challenge coin on that joint. I want to see somebody do push ups live. That'd be fucking hilarious. Just rope everybody you know race. Oh man, what a well, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that next week if they go live again. I'm gonna be like, so who has their coin? Catch one of them exactly. slip. Exactly, like Dully, he's been catching the flipping a lot lately. See everybody scram. That is funny. Yeah, see now that, that I is. Learned, I learned today that I don't know how many people in the chat actually take. Uh, take like city transportation to get to work or whatnot but i tried that out today yeah horrible and like i just did not just you know hop on the commuter train once i got the mail no i took the bus <laughs> all the way from figures tell all the way to hell <laughs> that's funny worst drive ever oh so, james gordon uh I do have shout out, shout out Ross Martin for uh, sending a pistol. Uh, I do have the Ross Martin RM1C. Uh, if I get my hands on the STR9, I will do that that review for you. But I have not shot the Ross Martin. I'm waiting on a few more goodies to uh, dress it up to make it look nice, you know, presentable. And uh, we're going to beat the shit out of that thing. The Ross Martin? Yeah, the Ross Martin. They were at Pew Party. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember him. Like, how'd you chat that one up? You made a deal, huh? He was like, hey, send me out one of those. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was kind of something like that. So yeah, I'm kind of curious about those. Uh, it's, there, uh, you, it's there for you to shoot as well. So don't think it's not, you know, like. I'm about to dog on, get over there and start motivating some ammo out in this piece, man. Yeah. You get boy Philly slow. I was living dangerously today, boy. I have the, I have the pistol challenge coin. I do not have the 1K challenge coin. He does not want to give it to me. Nor Jess. Because. He doesn't want us having the 1K coin before him. And that's what it's about. Yeah, see, I mean, I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> well, I wouldn't blame him. Be like, damn, let these youngsters show me up. Like, I own the joint. Well, and I do have a gift for you, Tack. I have to bring it to you. I'll oh. probably bring it to you after the live, actually. I might just oh. go. 
I might I might just swing over and be like, here you go. I'll be like, oh, oh, so, oh, oh like, yes, I saw, yeah, I saw your video. That was quite, quite nasty. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun. It's fun. They are, they are, uh, they are starting to make a name for themselves. Uh, there has been a buzz uh, about it. Uh, truthfully, to answer Tax question. In all honesty, in all fairness, and the reality of it, uh, I didn't do anything. I got a phone call, essentially, and it was like, hey, one's getting sent to MD Arsenal. I said, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. So, because I mean, you know, that's like the best part about it. Like, when we went to to a uh, pre party, we go anywhere, like, we always let them know that, you know, it's just not. That you're dealing with us, we can, you know, review the products, but we have, you know, two FFLs that can, you know, I mean, get it and actually, you know, sell your product. Yep, 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 yep. Tech. All we're going to do is get the media version of it out. What's going yep. on, Tech Money? Tech Money, what's Roblox. going on, Roblox? What's up? Yo, there was this, there was this dude and this another dude on the fucking bus. I had to, like ride the bus from like uh fucking where did I get on that shit at? I, I, I caught the 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 MRE or whatever the fuck that shit's called to Melon. So I get on the bus and riding back to Hagerstown, and these two dudes in front of me having a conversation about I don't know. The dude was talking about some well. I don't know how do I tell my wife? You know what I mean? I'm thinking he may have been talking about cheating and shit. No, these two, these two fucking with each other and shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah. it's that's crazy. That's how, you know, I did put my headphones in my ear. I was like, that's some shit I don't even want to fucking know about. Or it's like the brothers would call it, that's being on the down low. I don't know, Chris Stevenson. I will let you guys know this weekend coming up because this past weekend, uh, the attack, that's weird, bro. I would have been pissed. I would have threw all my headphones. I'm like, I can't do this shit. I threw that shit on, yeah. man. I was like, damn, I can't wait to hear it. But uh, yeah, Chris Stevenson. I don't know. I will let you know. I'll let everybody know. Um, I uh, this past weekend, uh, I spent quite some time with uh, the Q Fix, and uh, you know, obviously eight six blackout supers and subs. Mm. Uh, with the pork chop can. And what I like to call the chopsticks bipod. I, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It looks like chopsticks. They too. do look like chopsticks. You know, I don't know if Q is too happy about that. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think Q is too happy about me calling the kickstand the chopsticks. Hey, but that's a new way. yo, Q, if you guys are watching or watch this later, chopsticks, chopsticks. But uh, yeah, so you know, I wanted to decide to talk about the eight six for a little bit. Yeah, how is um, the eight six? Okay, so distance wise, that that's what I was getting at. So distance wise, I was on an LPVO, uh, one by ten. Uh, I did not get to sight in. So pretty much it was a dope chart being created on the fly. Mm. It was a dope chart being created on the fly. The 8.6 is, as a whole, the 8.6 blackout, from what I gathered, is a very, it's a very job specific round. It, it is a very job specific round. And this is why I say this, the 8.6 blackout, First off, that is a 338 Lapua pill inside of a 65 Creedmoor casing. Mm. All right. So mm. we'll uh, we'll 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 start there. Um I shot supers that were 210 grain uh two, yeah, 210 grain supers mm. uh from Gorilla Ammo and I also had 300 grain uh subs from gorilla ammo shout out md arsenal shout out md arsenal uh much love to md arsenal for that 
Um, and uh, needless to say, <clears throat> eight six blackout might be. It might have become one of my favorite cartridges. I could imagine. It has. It might be become one of my favorite cartridges. So from what I gathered, did I shoot a thousand yards with an eight six blackout? No, I only went out to four, four in the four twenty to four fifty range. I did not go past that. Uh, oh. I didn't have exactly. I would say the time. Like it wasn't so much about the time. Like it was kind of like the time, but there was other things to like that we could do instead of because creating. I don't know if anybody who knows creating a dope chart isn't exactly one two three. No. And with an uh, uh, eight six blackout, that is super expensive ammo. So getting it out to a thousand, you might want to have a lot of it outright. And that one by ten uh, LPVO was I, I wasn't a fan of it. But nonetheless, I would say four twenty to four fifty is a good range. You know, yeah, that's not bad. But, um, I mean, within that five hundred uh, range, you know what I mean? I it's mean, a, it's a, steel. To me, eight six. Uh, blackout reminds me like the caliber reminds me more of a with within that short range sniper type deal. Yeah, you know what I mean, I'm yeah, like, absolutely. With the, I mean, with, with the can on, it's basically quiet. I yeah, mean, it is. I it mean, is quiet. Even with the supers, it's quiet. With the supers, it's very quiet. You know, I and with the subs, it all you hear is the action. So James Gordon, uh, steel, a uh, shooting steel. So you heard impacts. Okay, first things first. When it comes to accuracy between the supers and the subs, so say if you have your dope and your optics set up for supers and you go to shoot a sub, it is wildly different. It is yeah. wildly different. Like, you know, at that 420 to 450 shooting, with supers, you know, you, you you get it sighted in, ding, 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 ding. You throw in a sub and you shoot it, and there's no signature of where it went. Just quiet. Like, there was no signature of where this round went. I had no idea. I was just like, I like so at that point, you know, figuring out, you know, the subs to hit steel is just like, yo, it's kind of pointless when we could do other things. Uh a chronograph got broken out. Shout out Forrest, um, you know, and we're just like checking velocity and everything. So the supers feet per second averaged out at 2,073 feet per second. And that was five shots. The, the subs average uh, nine, I want to say 960 mm -hmm. out of a five shot uh like a five shot series so the 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 chronograph takes uh average so that's that's pretty dope so it goes to show you you know how that's moving i mean like that 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 i mean like that whole h6 like blackout or any blackout for that matter they seem to follow the same plateau you know what i mean when it comes to um velocity wise in some cases even distance wise but it's like I always tell people, if you want to know the difference of how they all sound between the subs, the supers, and, you know what I mean? Like, you throw them all, you do, you throw them all in the magazine, but if it's 300 or uh, 8.6, and, like, you'll be able to tell the difference under suppression. Like, when you hit it, you'll be like, wow, that sounded differently. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, like, it's just like what Dust said. You could be pinging still, but the supers, you go to the subs, you're like, damn, well, what happened? <laughs> yeah, bro, I don't know where the round went. It you was not know where it went, you know what I mean? It was dry. It was dry enough to a point that if you're looking down the LPVO and it was probably like five, six feet off, you would see the signature of it hitting the berm, the floor, off at the side. I have no idea. I think it, I don't know if it went over the berm, way left, way right. I don't know what it did. Yeah, but, plus it was windy too. You know what I mean? That may have had a, uh, had like a play in the subs because it's, <clears throat> it's vastly different. It, it, yeah. it's, it's completely and utterly different completely 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 different so yeah. go ahead that like uh, i mean like you know that's what amazes me about long distance shooting that's why like i'm contemplating on on, on what my next uh 
move will be if it'll be the handgun or maybe even that Q or one of the other ones. But it's like, to me, I think that the calibers are interesting. You know what I mean? They all operate in different um, types. You know what I mean? Depending on if, you, you, if you're in, like, elevation-wise plays a point, the weather plays a big deal out of it, especially, Absolutely. you know, you got these windy atmospheres. But then That's where mountain. cash roll comes into play. Cash roll definitely uh, will help you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was probably good to test out that H6 uh, blackout as well. What's going on, Armel? What up, Armel? Yeah, I mean, so, guys, like you had a good time. I'm like, see, be, before I would buy one, I probably would have to go out with and y'all. try it. No, for sure. You know what I mean? Because I'm I can like, tell you right now, <clears throat> 86 Blackout probably isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea. Yeah, I mean, me, I'm more of a and, and, and the cost, guy. the cost itself of the round. Yeah, the I don't cost like 300 Blackout rounds, man. That shit's expensive to shoot. And 86 is 300 Blackouts, Big Brother, and it's. More expensive. Oh gosh, no, I, I don't chill yeah. like that. Be. My dog, so, blackout, my three hundred blackout stays in the uh thing because it's expensive to shoot. The uh, so like you also got to understand it's a sixteen inch bow, right? And mm-hmm. the twist is a one in three twist, so mm. it's 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 spinning, it's spinning like, and it's continue it. It's coming out with so much force, I kid you not, and. So, how a 308 looks at a thousand yards, where you can catch the spin drift, you can catch, you can see the signature of the round. You can follow the fucking round with a 308 and a thousand. You can follow the round if you shoot it and you're still like you're still you didn't move or shake and your eye remains through the glass. You can watch your round go. Yo, that's crazy. with it. With the 86 blackout was the same fucking thing in that four four twenty four fifty mark. It was absolutely fucking insane, bro. When that when that round leaves the barrel, it goes up and right. It just you literally see the signal. It just and That's you see the weird. distortion of the air. Sheesh. It, you see the distortion, like you see the distortion of this fucking round. And you're just watching it go straight to the target. Target, and it's like, bing, and you're like, that's a fucking hit. Oh boy, here he here, here, here go, your boy, man, getting him started. Yo, bro, that's, that's what we need. I'm not saying, hold on, I'm not saying eight six black is uh, it, it it's not bad. It definitely is a. I see, it, on, Red I see it as a very like. After I shot it, after the day, like, you know, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I was like, yo, that was a different, a way different experience of a caliber around a firearm, you know, everything. (laughs) (laughs) That's pretty much like, see, yeah, anything with the word BLK out in it, you you can expect you're going to have fun, but you're going to be hurt. Your pocket's going to be hurting trying to supply that motherfucker. It was uh definitely uh it was definitely it, it was definitely solid, bro. It was definitely a solid fucking experience, you know. I didn't get to collect data, you know. It said give blackout a oh absolutely, absolutely big easy, absolutely big easy, a hundred percent. Oh yeah, yeah, buffalo you know, I mean absolutely i yeah give it give it i think i think big easy i'm gonna keep it real i think we're ahead of the curve on this one wouldn't be the first time of us being ahead of the curve on something but like i think we're really on, like ahead of the curve so eight six blackouts been out, out for quite some time people have dabbled with it people have played with it you know what i'm saying but like the information that has been passed on outside like there's so much information to be like given on it i mean you know like we had some eight, eight, eight by six. You know what I mean? A lot of fun guns did. Yeah, like yo, but two years, right? Yeah. So it's 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 it's. So in the grand scheme of a, a new caliber, that is, it's still a baby. But yep. in the world that we're in, of firearms, we're still on the we're still on the first train. Yep, and I mean, and technology that move faster. You know what I mean? Like as they're able to 
Tesla wait, Lab. just hold on, Big Easy. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Don't pull the trigger yet. Do not pull the trigger yet. Yeah, boy, he'll be highly upset. He can't find that air ball. Yeah. feel like, damn. I, not do it just yet, bro. <laughs> I, I promise you. I promise Let's you the weight will be worth it. Big Easy, the weight will be worth it. I promise you. And you know I'm not really one. I'm not one to promise things or whatever. Like I, pro the weight will be worth it. Uh, I mean, it, it definitely seems like it operates uh, well under suppression. You know, what I mean, I mean, man, that's yes. A good thing. This is real, real data, not regurgitated data, not data from your homeboy, not from uh, you know your local long range guy or your local gun friend or whatever. Like this is shit that like, bro. I I, I was I was just doing this. I was well, just. Doing so recorded the the atix blackout it will so as it stands now atix blackout can it touch a thousand absolutely it could I, I i don't doubt it not one bit i mean out of a but i don't see it being easy out of a 16 inch barrel too bro i don't see it being easy i'm hey, just boy. letting i'm like yo bro this is just my i could be wrong i still have i have yet to do it but from the data I collected, I don't see it being like an easy task. You know, like I don't see that the hey, the, no, a easy. the eight six blackout is not a thousand yard caliper. Like it's mm -hmm. can it be done? More than likely, a hundred percent. But it's not. Uh, yo, I'm gonna go shoot a thousand yards with my boy, and you bring the eight six blackout. I wouldn't suggest that. I wouldn't do that. I would say four hundred. I'd say five. I'd say like five. 600 and in you'll you'll have fun 400 400 and in you're dropping some shit. oh yeah definitely i mean that's what it's made for i believe you know what i mean it's yeah like a reason why it was developed and it just wasn't just for uh for uh target practice you know what i mean <laughs> i'm pretty sure there's a reason yeah so uh you saw the video from alabama arsenal hitting 1k so i haven't seen that video but i got a few questions for you did he go step by step on how he did it or he made it seem like it was the easiest thing on earth i'll let you you know get back to me on that but uh because I, I i i know the answer to it uh of course not of course not. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be. A, it's not going to be a one, two, three thing. Like, mm. you need data collected on it. Yeah, you got. To. You need data collected on it. You need to be good with that. You need to be good with whatever rifle you're using, whatever setup you're using. You need data collected. It ain't just like, a, oh, I'm gonna go in. It's not like a fucking 300 Win Mag, where you yards, punch some right? shit and you look. You know, or 308 where you punch in some shit, or 6.5 cream where you punch in some shit, and you're like, yo, dial up to this, take a shot, and you have a good shot of hitting it. it it's not going to be like that. Mm -mm. Definitely it's not going to be like that. Um, but I mean, like, you know, it, it, it's like it, it's one of those that we're getting it to a thousand. I don't, I mean, it just doesn't, just given the nature of the blackout series and what they're made for, it's, I couldn't even see it. Maybe not, I, I mean, not even probably out of an 18 or 20 inch barrel. You know what I mean? I even took it as far as uh fucking with the Q mini fix. Mm -hmm. And but I fucked up. It had a red dot on it, but I did take like two, three shots out to like four, four hundred. I was like, yo, let me just and uh it wasn't it wasn't exactly it was kind of like all right, I'm not gonna waste rounds. Yeah, that's I mean. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, man. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I want to get five, something. Six, green nasty rounder. Oh, really? uh, green tip? Green tippies. Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Yeah, some of the green tippies, the uh, what, the M55s or whatever they're called. I mean, I got to find out what he's talking about first. Talking about what the about? Winchester 556 five, green, green tips? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go crazy over him. I wouldn't go crazy over him. The no. five five six is a high enough velocity. Yes, the, the, not all green tips are created equally. There's that. That's but true. There's, there's black tip. Yep. 
there's black tip, which you're not going to find. And if you do find, it's probably going to be $130 per round. Well, like Winchester makes a pretty good um, active. It's just that they're hard to find. And they used to be that when they first came out with it, when they were testing it, it was cheaper. Now, as you know, the price is skyrocket to like 70 bucks a box almost. So, yeah, bro, it, it, it definitely, uh, he said PMC on Winchester green tips are solid. Yeah, get a junk, get a junk, uh, get a junk car and uh, get a junk car, take a 223, a 556, and a green tip. Hey, what's going on, L1B? And you'll see what I'm talking about. Goon Beam in the house. L1 Goon Beam. Beam. Shout out Goon Beam. Shout out to Goon Beam. Yeah, it's an L1 V. What's up, bro? Man? I love the rap on the, the box. Gift wrapping it real nice. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Yeah, he said he had to he had to get it, man. Yep. Yeah, that's that's gonna be interesting. So it's meant to CQB to 300 round. Is that eight six was meant to be a hard hitting CQB to three hundred round three hundred yard? You mean? And when they figured out the right twist, they added Unreal Penitentiary sure it's a medium range. What a great one! Yeah, no, uh, that that uh that eight six blackout is no fucking joke. Uh, I mean, without, not, without a doubt in my mind, if you've seen a moose at two hundred yards, that moose will probably drop immediately. Yeah, because see, you could, I mean, like, he, he's got a good point there, too, because that's kind of the way how I look at 8-6. You got a 300 blackout, which is your in-between self-defense, you know what I mean, like your close quarters, and then you have, if you need to go longer range, then you, you know what, fuck that. I need to get me one of these 8-6 in case you're no, sitting I'm, I'm there. getting there. Hold on, I'm getting there. We're going to talk <laughs> about this. We're going to talk about 8-6. We're going to talk about 8-6 for sure, for sure. Oh, I'm so, like, I'm not get my hands on this one. So, like I said, you know, like I, I told you guys the the FPS on the subs and the supers. Told you about the the spin drift. You know how the round reacts. Um, it is a the the, the fix is a super lightweight setup with even a one by ten LPVO and a can. It is a. I will not do knowledge. Uh, it is a super. It is a super uh, lightweight bolt gun. You can hunt with that, which is good. Lightweight is better, man. Like you could you could go through the woods with that. You have a a, a, a decent pistol on you. Like a, that is a light pack. That is a light pack rifle. And then on top of that, now they have those. Uh, what is it called? Let me look it up. Yo, doesn't that thing eight six gets fed? They have a belt fed eight six. Hmm. They belt have a belt fed eight six. Correct. Monsters. Sig. The MG three three eight. Three three eight. Yeah. Uh, is it a three three eight? Something like that. Uh. Oh, that's the uh. Yeah, that's the the uh, newer one. Yeah, that that that'll that'll yeah, bro, that's bill that shit is crazy. You talking about CQB? That shit is OP. Like it's not. There's no such thing as OP because that is a World War rifle. And I yo, see, yo. and I seen firsthand where they're going with this fucking eight six, bro. Oh yeah, I mean, I see it offhand. I mean, it's the same thing basically with. I mean, it, it, we not gonna have the range difference between that. 300 to 500 yards you know what i mean i mean it's made to to uh to attack what you needed from a good distance and be effective yeah it 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 is a uh it is no joke that round is i just see it as that that round bro so when they come out with the boom box that's gonna be sick um you know those belt feds those those are sick like like I mean, I think it's just getting started. It is just getting started. They're gonna start. They're gonna start. That that I don't even know, yo, bro. I'm so excited about this eight six. That eight six is it, in my head. It, the way I see it, eight six is definitely. Um, he said, "What's the cost per round? A dollar and some change." 
probably like I think it's like a dollar what a dollar forty five. Yeah, it's it's a dollar and some change per round. So that uh that that eight six is definitely I could see that being job specific. I could uh uh I called it the the urban sniper. That's what people call like the Q mini fix or whatever. But uh there's definitely a big difference between three hundred blackout and eight six. And for anybody to try and compare them to, they're not. Yeah, they're two totally they're not, they're, 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 it's a it, three hundred blackout is the little brother, and it's yeah. the little brother for uh a reason that eight six blackout will whatever it touches it is dropping especially eight, in the six blackout will become that round sorry to cut you off it, mm -hmm. eight six blackout will become that round like how people felt about 45 caliber yeah but I see in a rifle, you know i mean i think like it'll it's like it'll have its niche you know what I mean? Like, it'll have the people that will, you know what I mean, that will be able to afford to shoot it. They can. You know what I mean? It looks like it'd be a very – in fact, I think I would enjoy that shooting more than 308. Because I hate shooting 308. 308, 308 isn't, isn't bad, you know? <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I mean, I hate shooting 308. I don't know what it is. I don't like it suppressed. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't. Like, it's just loud and just – it's, it it it's cool. bro, we're talking about what what now hold on wait a 308 with a can is is quiet as well it's quiet also yeah the sub's quiet but but the, the just just maybe because when i've been around 308 except for for two that were suppressed it's like maybe that's just what it is it's just all the loudness i'm like oh turn me off early on and then when I shoot, like get all that recoil. It's called me a pussy. Or whatever. <laughs> it's, it's just, just not one it's of my things down. Yo, bro, Jess was dinging steel on the SR twenty five. Yo, she was she with was the PRC. Killing, Yo, she was fucking dinging steel, and Dudley still didn't give her a coin. We'll just say yeah. that. Dudley said he ain't giving nobody no coins until he does it first. He gets the first coin, then everybody else follow. Uh. Car readiness, I'm not 100% sure. Literally, I think Pew Party began the journey of the 8.6. Yeah. MD Arsenal helped us further, you know, with it. And, uh, yeah, we're just, we're seeing what's up, bro. We're, we're, we're seeing what's up. He says, what do you think about the M855A1? Isn't the M855A1 fucking... Isn't that um the black tip? Yep, black tip M eight five five one. If uh, my computer, uh, I actually, know, no, I think not. Is that the black tip? That's the green tip. I'm not. I I think it might be the green tip. I don't yeah, know. I think those are the green tips. Should you get them? Get the M eight five five. Yeah, bro. I gotta. It's the black tip. Is the M eight uh, the M nine five five? Yeah, I'm not mistaken. The one the eight five fives are usually the green tips. Yeah, no, I uh that uh those green tips, I have a bunch of them. Problem is that most indoor ranges they don't like you to shoot them though, you know what I mean? They get up there. Nah, it's yeah, no, it's not good. Tears up some shit. Yeah, hmm. man. That's um that's gonna be solid because I mean, yeah, that's like a thing. Like me, I like guns that I can be able to will pick up and carry in case of shit happens. You know what I mean? Like I say, you never know these days. I need my close quarters so when I'm, you know, when the shit hits the fan, I can go in there and clear, clear house, do the groceries, you know, take your groceries from out your house, wherever I'm going in there. If I need to get from long range and take out some people protecting the grocery store, then I can do that too, doing shit hits the fan. That's what 86 Blackout would do for me. 86 blackout. Yeah, you're talking about groceries and close quarters. That 86 <laughs> blackout is going to uh be absolutely God, ridiculous. Gotta be sitting on top of the bridge. I'd be like, I'd be like, yo, dust, man. They holding the uh they seem to be in front of the uh the uh, grocery store. It look like they're not letting people in. We're like, but it's just, just sniper, man. 86 blackouts. <laughs> it's it's dog. Boo -boo. I'm like, so. And if you ask me these days, you need to have it all. You know what I mean? Like you need to 
have that small package that you can travel lightly with and be able to yeah. handle the that. blackout is definitely like a light pack. The rounds aren't exactly light, but I can assure you, you know, you a good distance away, you know, people don't understand. So like everybody, everybody thinks like, 100 yards isn't far. 100 yards, you're right. It's not that far. 200 yards is all right. Once you get 300 yards and beyond, it's like, bro, what are you really looking at? Yeah, it's like, what are you looking at? You, you, at 400 yards, at 400 yards, if someone's wearing a color even remotely close to the colors around them, you will not see them. Nope. Unless they're moving and you got really, really good at you ain't going to see them. You really yeah, have to be holding it. Like, yo, what? Like, is that a bush or is that a person? But if they're just laid in, you're not gonna. See them. Yeah, you, you, you have to close your eyes at that point, and and if you hear the ah, oh! then you know you got got what you were intending to do. Like, yeah, that's 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 insane. But I mean, yeah, I like it when the uh, like you have new calibers that come out, man. So the eight six blackout takes uh. A, a 308 mag, a SR25 mag. It's a 7.62 by a, a 51 mag. Hmm. So basically 308. That's not bad. It's a 30 cal. 30 cal. The 86 is a 30 cal. It's a 338 Lapua. Tell me, it takes a 30 cal can too. Yeah, I'm not all, a, not all 30 cal. Not can. all. But yeah, that that thing is a. Uh, Super fucking big. It's it's dope. It's dope. It's like I said. It's like and now now thinking about it in the workforce, right? It's definitely job specific. I don't see, uh, you know. He said, "Wow, I just came in." It's definitely job specific. Semi-auto platforms. I uh, bro, they have a belt fed. One, they have a belt fed. Only played around with the queue. Q's coming out with the boom box. I'm pretty sure other companies make uh something that accepts 86 blackout, you know. 6.5 cream more needs a yeah, size can. So it uh it, it it's definitely like I said, an interesting fucking round. You got that is an urban sniper. <laughs> it's a urban sniper, dog. That's oh, man. Sniper at 400 yards. Guys. Sight is way better than mine. I'm pretty sure mine and her eyesight is probably close. Chris, uh, she's not going to snipe me at 400 yards. Because I wouldn't put myself in a position to be shot at at 400 yards. Just not a thing for me. No, I'm behind behind that dog on uh of course we call it the concrete belt. Yo, that 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 eight six is blow it's busting, it's gonna break a concrete, it's breaking concrete, bro. And then a fucking belt fed dog. I was just thinking about that. Putting that in a belt fed. <laughs> well you see, bro, if like, a people's moving and you had a fucking eight six blackout belt fed. But there's a reason why the military, you know, went to to these higher certain calibers. They can do some immediate damage. I mean, yeah, they got tired of motherfuckers being doped up, getting hit. I mean, any two times when you see people with dog on, I mean, I see that shit up close to Iraq, dude. God, so like, where the fuck's he going, man? It's like you shot him like in the fucking chest. And he's still moving. Yeah, but that like the the eight six blackout. I don't see like a whole squad having eight six blackout. There's just gonna be one or two guys with that shit. If yeah. that, you know, there'd be one or two guys with, with. Yeah, you'd have the specialist, you know what I mean? Yeah, specialist, like, yeah. like sniping support for like, for like Marines by like special forces or whatever, you know what I mean? Assistant Marines. So it's lightweight, pack it up. Fire. It says I have big Dre building me 86. That's dope. That's dope. When that's done, I would like to see it. Matter of fact. I'll probably go harass Dre about that. I'll probably, I'll probably, Dennis Dixon, don't mind me. I'll probably go have, uh, have, uh, call Big Dre tomorrow and be mad nosy about that. He, 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 he can't talk about that, does? Yeah, I'm like, nah, Dre. I'm like, nah, Dre. I already got the scoop, G. 
You building Dennis Dixon an eight six rifle? I want to know all about it. Tell me. Yeah, but then hang up the phone. You hear dial to click. Hello. <laughs> nah, Big Dre's a good dude, bro. He's a yeah, good man, dude. Always big dude, man. He's awesome. Nah, man, that's your gun. I don't want to. I don't want to shoot your gun, bro. You enjoy that. Yeah, but unless I happen, I, unless I happen to go out there and I'd be like, "Yo, so uh, let's go check that out." I don't he know, man, no. Big Dre's a he's a he's a very stand up dude, bro. He's a good dude. He'd be like, "Yo, I can't do that. That's a customer's rifle. You're crazy." That's it. I have no idea when the boombox is dropping, but I'll tell you right now. I I know Fish is very adamant about the boombox. The boom box. Yeah, I know Fish is very adamant about the boom box. So I could see uh the boom box dropping and fish having it the first day it drops, or fish gets it before it drops somehow, some way. Yeah, man, that's why he's working so hard, man. He plotting something. Yeah, that, getting that boom box. Fish is working <laughs> so he can buy the boom box in four thousand rounds immediately. Yo, he's doggone plotting. Yeah, man, he plot, man. He like, I'll save my cat. Yo, I'm looking at his ears was tingling. I just about to say it. Oh, he's <laughs> I was just about to say it. I was like, yo, I know he's going to pop in. Watch, watch. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I don't doubt it. Fish probably will be the first to get it. Hell yeah, man. He, he, I don't he, doubt he, Fish he, probably sends three emails a day. Don't forget about me. Don't forget about it. I got the cat. I got the bread. You let me know where I sent it to. Yeah, yeah man, that's all it is. You know, one problem I think I've had lately is I'm starting to devalue the handgun. You're starting to devalue it? Yep. I mean, the only, the only thing I look at it as is for saving my life and for practicing. You know what I mean? But I don't own as many as I used to anymore. I think I only own like three. I mean, yeah, pistols are dope. Yeah. But then again, I'm a P, I mean, because I prefer to travel to PCC. I'm like, yeah, handguns are all right. That's, you know, all high and dandy. I was like, they're fun to shoot, but I was like, me, yeah, I prefer PCC's rifle. So I'm just like, hey, what up? I'm just like, you know, so I'm like, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with the handguns. I think I'm just kind of out with it. Yeah, bro. So I don't know, man. That 86 is uh, super fucking interesting, guys. Yeah, I'm curious about it because right, right now I'm kind of I'm kind of cross point in the middle that we're either I want that that dog on F and then um 509 CC Edge XL or yeah. or the cube. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'm in I'm in the middle. That's why I said I got like seven more months to decide on which one. So it's uh it's definitely uh it, it, it's sick, bro. I mean, I'm just like it's a very know. interesting caliber. And it's new. It turns you me know? on like 300 blackout did, you know what I mean? It turns me on to my inquisitive side, like gotta get my hands on this, see how it operates. Some said don't carry a PCC as a truck gun. It's not effective. We carry an SBR. Yeah. I concur. Yep. SBR. PDW. Yep. PDW or whatever you want to call it. Call that sucker. We call <laughs> it rifle calibers. I call it, if I need it, it's there. It's going to go bang, bang, and, and it's going to clear out doggone uh, whatever it needs to. That's funny. I think uh, Integrity comes out. Integrity comes out his car with a lollipop, you know, Jerry curls and a razor, and says, yeah, "Which one y'all talking crazy? Like the old school pimps? He has the straight." Yeah. He, 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 but man, man, back in my day, young buck, I would have, I would have had your girl working for me. <laughs> he, he, he be up, he be up there talking shit. Three thirty eight razor. Three thirty eight razor has potential, yeah. but I think needs a different fatter parent case so you can have subs and supersonic loads. He, you know, he's got a point there with the subs and the sonic uh, loads. Three thirty eight razorback. Cause, 
because uh, I've never shot 338 Razor Blade. I'm telling you right now, that 86 blackout subs, you do not hear a fucking thing but the action of the trigger. I like that. That is it. That is it. There's no, there's no, there's no, it's just, Yo, like, how much is that Q anyway? Is that Q like past 2000? Yeah. It's past 2000. There's no, like I said, there's no, uh, there's no, there's no sound signature. The only sound signature you hear is click. That's it. And, a poop. and for a hard hitting round like that, you know, within optimal distance, just to hear click is fucking crazy. That Bro, you, when you're, when you're, I kid you. If you're standing ten feet away, you don't hear it. If you're in a conversation with somebody and that gun goes off and that that trigger gets pulled, you do not hear anything. Oh, that's a good thing. Oh yeah, it's insane. It is absolutely insane. I don't know the eight six. The eight six is definitely a a very impressive round. It is, it is definitely an impressive round. They need to do something about that price. We're going to have to throw dude in the basement until him get to work. Yeah, boy. Put, put, him, put like some hot lava rocks, like the, the like fire pit underneath, like dig up his basement. <laughs> like, if you leave here, we're going to open the pit on you. He said, how many motherfuckers went full Jim Jones thing? They come. <laughs> He's like, still with us? <laughs> Oh, Gina versus Gina, how are you? <laughs> no, Fish is here. Fish is listening in, bro. Yeah, he's man. Still, yeah, man. He's still tapping in, man. He, he's still tapping. I don't know. You know what? Yo, like, speaking of which, like, you know what I found out today? Um, and I think for every parent in America that followed that Michigan case with uh, the um, with the two parents that now got 10 to 15 years in jail. No, I didn't. Parents, see that. Yeah, man, I think parents gonna think real hard now, Bob. You got a crazy kid that's on that psychotic path. I think you're gonna try to do something to get that person some help. It's not a it's not exactly it is bigger, but you could call it a slow moving round. That's a hard hitting fucking round. Yo, bro, it, it's different. It's different, bro. It's different. Oh, it's like, so what are the energy numbers compared to 300? I didn't play with the 300. I, I shot th two, three rounds of 300, and I put it away because it was pointless. You know, you know what? That that should probably be like the next test, the test step. Then. Yo, yo, yo. What up? What's up, Tom? What's up How you man? feeling? How you doing? I'm How all you right, doing, man? man. I'm all right. Shit. We just here talking about the 8.6 blackout, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. You experienced that 8.6 yet, Tom? Uh, I have not. Yeah, man. See, me and Tom are gonna get up on that. Mm -hmm. Tom probably has one laying around somewhere. No, I don't. Really? No. Surprise. Yeah, you be surprised. No, people don't. Been quiet lately, man. You know that. You said what? Been quiet lately. You know that. Yeah, we know. No. <laughs> we know. <laughs> so. Yeah, you know who does have one no dust? Uh half his gun shop. That's what? Yeah, they have a um the uh 86Q. So does so does MD Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Last time I was in there, they had one it was like months ago though. Yeah, so oh, man. I'm gonna let y'all talk about that, but I'm uh I'll go I'll go into the shit. Yeah, yeah. No, we just we just uh I was just sharing my experience with the 86 blackout uh this past weekend. Shout out Jess, shout out Dudley, shout out MD Arsenal, shout out Peacemaker Aaron, fucking Forrest, you know. Did it make you any smarter? I suppose. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've my homework. I did some data. No, it's just the beginning, bro. It's like reading. Yo, I felt like it was reading the fucking first three pages of a thousand page book. <laughs> now, what's up, everybody? Um, 
So, you know, not to interrupt this, but I just want to say. The floor is yours, doggy. Yeah, man, the floor is yours because Dutch held up the first, like, 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 doggone hour. (laughs) Good. So, yeah, I just want to share some stuff with y'all because I know y'all haven't seen me on here too much lately. You know what I mean? You know, we had some things going on internally. We all know about Keezy and all. Um, so yeah, I just want to uh drop some stuff on what happened. So last week Keezy went to court. Uh for he took it to trial. He went to court and um went to court. They ended up convicting him. So he he'll be sent. They, well, let me go back. They convicted him of, they dropped all the charges except for the aggravated assault and aggravated assault with a weapon. Mm. Um, so he he gets sentenced on June 14th. Mm. Um, so he, he's looking at three to five for both, but what they're doing is the, the judge said he wants, he'll run them concurrent. So, you know, he's looking at the three to five and they're going to ask for the minimum. Yeah, they'll probably meet in the middle somewhere. So, you know. Wow. That's, that's nuts. But at least they didn't charge him, you know I mean, with like, um, they didn't go any further. With the nah, well, well, I mean, it was clear as day it was not an attempted murder case. Yeah, I mean, it definitely was more of a self-defense to me, you know what I mean? Well, that, that's, that's what we're going to talk about here tonight and now. So, um one one thing i'm gonna say you you know what i mean is you know when it comes to when it comes to self-defense shit know know the rules of your state with self-defense you know some some guys have all the training in the world or think they know every fucking thing and you don't know fucking nothing they don't check the laws yep you don't check the laws and laws change all the time uh so so stay up with it um those of you who are firearms instructors you need to be informing people of the laws that's one thing we did we always inform people of the laws now some might say well how did how did this happen to keezy when we inform people of the laws all the time well keezy is one of those like you know i love keezy to death and he's my brother but i'm also smart enough to know that you know, I, I know his flaws. And he, yeah. he's one of those, he 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 Keezy's got that pride thing. And yeah. you know, he he he's one like if we get if we get into a verbal argument, you know what I mean? He's one of those guys, man, he's gotta be on top of every argument. And it's like, dude, like sometimes you can take the L. You understand what I'm saying? You can take yep. the L, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. So, you know, I just want to point out some facts about it because, uh, you know, again, it's knowing your laws. So, you know, Pennsylvania is one. We are we are not a stand your ground state. And I hear people say that shit all the time, man. And and you got to and I correct them all the time. No, this is a duty to retreat state. Okay, Uh, the only time you should be the only time you should be, you know, on that deadly force button is if you know imminent danger or you have no means of escape um you know if there's something you can avoid or move away from then you know you know get the fuck out of there you know what i mean make it look good at least like you know what the fuck yeah at least that you try trying to like i mean that you yeah. were trying to avoid the situation right I, so. and i mean that's that's key because a lot of people, you know, like, oh, yeah, I carry a gun. Yes, you carry a gun for protection. But when you start going into different states, especially northern states, I mean, even though Pennsylvania, they got, they're about the, the most loose state, you know. In the north, that yeah. part. But it's like, you know, that retreat says a lot. And that means a lot because in the case yeah. in which, let's say you pull out, let's say a guy pulls out on you and you guys pull at the same time. Then you know what I mean it's like that's a different story. But I say if that man hasn't pulled out yet or that first shot wasn't ring at you, then you gonna have a hard time proving well how come you didn't run. You know they're gonna try to make that example out of you. Yeah, so, that sucks. So with that being said, um, Keezy, you know Keezy didn't, you know, 
I'll put it to you like I, I I'll go through I'll explain the video to give I, I'll explain the situation to give y'all a little bit of what happened. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the video or whatever, but I can explain to y'all kind of like what happened. So, um, you know, in the beginning, you know, him, him and, uh, him and, you know, a fellow rider, they were, you know, at, at a Wawa, um, you know, just standing, chilling, uh, van pulls up. Uh, two guys get out the van. They go on Wawa. One comes out, asked them for, asked uh, Keezy and the fellow rider if anybody had a light. The fellow rider gives them a light. Now they're standing there to talk. You know, they're just having a conversation. Keezy's not involved in the conversation. Keezy's on his phone. Um, the other guy's partner comes out comes out the store, what, what, whatever, however that conversation went is how it went. I don't know. I wasn't there, but some, somewhere in that, uh, some BS ensued. So, uh, words were exchanged and next thing you know, you have, you have the, uh, the guy and Keezy, they get to a grapple, like, the dude, the dude was big as shit. Uh, real big dude. Um, grabs Keezy by the neck, and you know they go at it. Whatever. Uh, Keezy kind of gets the best of it. Uh, dude does reach behind, like he's grabbing for something, but he never, he never pulls anything out. But you know they're still going back and forth. So dude turns around, steps away. Um. Dude starts walking away, whatever the case may be. Then he comes back. Now, they said he was pacing back and forth, you know, screaming and hollering shit. And he was making threats. Then, long story short, he came back. He wanted to shake hands with Keezy. Keezy tells him, nah, you know, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. At the same time, you know what? At the same nope. time, I you know, I'd be on the same type of time. Like, man, yo, oh, yeah. we just did all that, man. Get the fuck out of here. Like, we good. Because, um, you know, there was a witness there said said dude was the aggressor and everything. And said he was out there screaming nigga and all this other shit. It's crazy. So, yeah, I mean, I don't want to shake his hand either. Like, y'all yeah, I mean, go about your fucking business. But kept going back and forth, going back and forth. Now. Here, here, here's where it get, here's where it gets stupid. So when dude walk away, you know what I mean. I guess he was walking away talking his shit. Keezy starts yelling his shit back at him. I think he was yelling he ain't scared of him or some shit because that's what his fellow rider said in court. Uh, kept saying he ain't scared. Every time dude walk away, Keezy say something. Dude come back, you know what I mean. But again, dude was you know saying shit at the same time as he's walking away. Um, long story short, Keezy advances in his direction. As he advances in his direction, as dude is walking away, Keezy advances in that direction. Um, dude turns back around. Keezy shoots him. You know what I mean? Because he said he was going to bury him or kill him or some shit. So that's when he shoots him. Now, moral to it is, and I'm going off of their words now. Keezy's words was um Keezy's words were that he was going into the wild wild, you know what I mean? That way if you know if something got bad, you know what I mean, there's witnesses in there. All right, yeah. it might be understandable. Here's kind of where it fucked him because they said, Well, if you didn't feel safe or if this was that or that or the third was happening, why didn't you go back to that spot you were at? You know what I mean? Which you were out of danger or go towards your bike because his bike was the total opposite way. You went in that guy's direction. So it looked like you were following. Yep. You know, the camera had no audio. You know what I'm saying? So by the camera not having any audio, you know what I mean? Now it's, you know, his word versus the next person's word. The part I didn't like, you know, the motherfucker, he didn't even show up for court. He told them he don't give a fuck. Like he wasn't showing up. 
but his man all of a sudden out of nowhere popped up and you know put the shit together now i'm gonna tell you where the man was smart at because every time they ask him something that could hurt the so-called victim every time they ask him something you know what this motherfucker said i don't recall oh but, but he recalled everything conveniently that you know helped them in his boy's favor you know yeah well that's tax favorite word in court i don't recall it mm -hmm. short-term uh, memory loss Teezy's man kind of jammed him with the every time dude walk away and say something Teezy would say i ain't scared of you you know what i mean which if you're if you're claiming you're in fear of your life you're yelling i ain't scared of you this motherfucker said it on the stand now you just kind of fucked him the other person that kind of fucked herself was Keezy. Keezy was going into shit that made no sense, you know, that had nothing to do with nothing. This dude was talking about his holster and all kinds of shit. And it was like, dude, like, what are you doing? And it was actually to the point where the prosecutor damn near sounded like he was helping him. And he wasn't, he was trying to lead him away from that. And he was still going right to it. Hmm. So, but yeah, man, I mean, that... out of all this, this is something that could have like, totally went Keezy's direction but he decided to take the stand one and two because the prosecution man the motherfuckers were unprepared as shit man oh yeah. it was to the point it was pissing the judge off I mean especially that way they got a lot of cases and shit I'm like sure they don't they don't put together as well that where as long as you stay quiet a lot of times you can if you don't stick your foot in your ass you know what I mean then you may mm -hmm. come out I mean and and I mean that's a valuable lesson to be learned, man. That's really a training issue. That's why I tell people about 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 situations and just knowing your laws because I mean that happens like you know in like a state where you got to stand your ground. It's like hey, it's either can go either way. But like in that case, I mean like the dude was walking away, then the threat was no longer there. You know, I mean I was just walking the store just. Left the way well, it is. The, see, the thing is, the store was in the direction that he was. Oh, you know I got you. So it's like, dude, like if dude is leaving, yeah. just let him go the fuck ahead. Yep. You go the fuck ahead. Don't say nothing back to him. Don't give him no reason to turn the fuck back around. Because again, yeah. if if you if you have the duty to retreat, your bike was the opposite direction. Yeah, exactly. I'm you know just what I'm like. Saying? Shoot, I, 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 and I mean, I know how people can piss people off. You know what I mean? Where you be like, yo, I ain't letting this, I ain't letting this dude punk me down like this. Sometimes you gotta eat that pride and just be like, yo, man, let me just think smart about this shit. This shit won't escalate. You know what I mean? I mean, especially if you know you got the blinky on you, you can, you know what I mean, defend yourself. If this dude pulls out and starts firing, at you, then it's like you just gotta play it cool. Well, here's the one thing where TG really, really fucked herself. So. Keezy, when Keezy advanced toward the store, he had his hand on his gun. All right. So he has his hand on his gun. So they ask him, well, why are you holding your gun? He says to secure his gun. So remember I said something about the holster, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This nigga talking about his holster, double secure. They got all this other shit on there. Mm. And I kind of knew where the fucking prosecutor went, was going to go with this. You know, that because I've been in law enforcement so long and been in court, man, I don't see how these motherfuckers play. So I'm sitting there like nodding and shaking my head no and shit like that every time Keezy takes something. But he just kept on going. But uh, Keezy's talking about how secure his holster was. So they asked, well, why did you have your hand on your gun? Keezy said, well, I was securing my gun. So he said, when you ride your bike, do you ride with your, do you ride with your hand on your fucking gun? He said, no oh man so, so when he said no he said well why don't you if you if you gotta hold your gun to make sure it's secure while you're walking why would you do it why wouldn't you do it if you ride your bike he said because it's double secured and da, 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 da. Mm. He said but it should have been double secured with that guy standing there easiest yep. answer for keezy was listen i don't know what this motherfucker have he already reached once exactly but instead he said he, he stuck with, I'm securing my gun. How about when we were tussling? You know what I mean? How about when we were tussling this motherfucker? Yo, listen, I'm trying to keep this motherfucker from getting my gun. Uh, you, know, you know what I mean? He had, a, he had exactly. a totally different way to explain that shit. 
and he didn't man he, he like he, he fell for the trap man and i was like man like you know i you know i almost felt like his pride was kind of in the way man and i'm like man what the fuck, man yo that's crazy damn it's like that's one thing i learned early on being enough course stuff to know is that man if you talk too much you run into the wrong subject you can talk yourself right into some problems you know what and i mean yeah, that's exactly what he did he talked himself right into that shit and it was like man what the fuck man uh, and I mean, he had I'm everything right. he had it going for him yeah i mean because especially once when i mean that's one thing i would sell like if i'm carrying a retention holster you know what i mean the prosecution picked that shit apart I'm mm -hmm. like, if I know I got a retention host. I'm like, all right, well, I ride that motorcycle. Shit don't come off. You know what I mean? I was like, so I was like, look, I was in a tuffle with this dude. You know what I mean? So everyone I saw. Yeah, he could have grabbed my gun, man. Dude, big as yep. shit. He could have grabbed a gun. You know what I mean? I mean, so I'm, like, I'm just making sure that he don't pull out nothing. And if he do, then I'm ready. That's it. And the other so thing I'm, was, well, why did you go that direction? Oh, I'm trying to get inside the store. Well, if the threat was over, the motherfucker tried to shake your hand. Motherfucker was trying to walk away. Motherfucker was trying to walk away. You walk in that direction. Like, what the yeah. fuck? I like, mean, but then again, like, you know, man, he was trying to shake his hand, but you know how that go. I'm like, shit. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, like, I, said, I, I on the same oh. note. like I said, I'd have been on that same note. I right, listen, man. Nah, we ain't shaking hands. I'm like, what this nigga on, man? I'm like, yo, come on. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, come on, we just toughly down, down, down. You want to be cool? I'm like, oh, I don't trust you like that. Yeah, and then, and then, I, yeah, I still be touching on him too. Like, what's your like he had a witness. He had two witnesses. You know, he had he had a witness that he had a he had a witness that didn't know nobody from a can of paint. But this lady was like, nope, he was not the aggressor. The guy was standing out there calling him the n word and all kinds of shit. Oh like, man, <laughs> he had it going. Like he had it going for him. Oh man, hopped out the hopped out the whip, you know, and that's something there because I'm gonna be spending some time up in the uh Pennsylvania, you know, Philly area like this summertime. So I'm just trying to get to know, you know, what I mean, the field of laws. Cause most of the time usually I'm in there and like you know, in a mile of going wherever I'm going, but I may be up there for a few days. So yeah, I'm, like, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I got all my P's and Q's dotted so I know exactly what's going on. Because, I mean, that, that that right there is something else because, I mean, it's like you have to make sure in those kind of states, it's a trap, man. Yeah. And Keezy's lawyer pretty much, like, and why I say Keezy jammed himself was because Ke when Keezy took the stand, his lawyer asked him questions that the motherfucker was going to, that the prosecutor was going to cross him with anyway. So he, so he asked him so he can answer it right away that way yep. that way they had to come with a different approach yeah because i mean i mean that's the thing like if you i mean like like uh like we all had the same thing i was saying it's like whenever you're in court a lot of times especially if you're like if you're like the defendant it's like you know you're trying to sometimes stuff may be racing you know what i mean because you're like man that could end up in here a lot longer than I want to be or this shit may not go right. So you got all these things to rush them, but you got to try to slow it down yeah. and answer those, you know what I mean, and answer those questions in the correct manner. Otherwise, that, that could be a, a thing of, uh, you know, life or death. I mean, just like what I was talking about the other day with, with those two parents that went to jail. I was like, hell, they, the judge gave them past the eight year sentence. He gave them 10 to 15 years. Yeah. I was like, and both of them talked themselves right into that, si that situation. So oh, man, then he was doing shit like fucking every time when the prosecutor would ask him something, then he fucking questioned him back. Then he asked the nigga, oh, man. Then he asked the nigga, he was like, Well, do you carry a gun? It was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh man, he went hard. Well, you know, in like a way I could see it. He like, yo, they already gonna give me time. Fuck these motherfuckers. He's like, I'm just gonna <laughs> say whatever the fuck I'm going. So I mean, I, I get him at that point. He's like, dude, I know I ain't getting out of this shit. They gonna give me some kind of time, so I'm just gonna go fucking say what the fuck I want to say. I got, I, I get him on that. That's one of those situations where like everybody should take the time to really understand what's being said and what's happening. And like Tom said, you know, you go and you you make sure you understand the laws, right? Yeah. No matter every like when you travel, make sure you understand the laws. Make sure you 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 
you look it up, you consult somebody who potentially knows, you know, like you, you do your due diligence to that. That's that part. And go. then God forbid in the self-defense situation, there's really no getting out of it. You are getting handcuffs put on. I mean, shit like I mean, like at the most de-escalation skills, people. I mean, that's just something that well, in this country well, people that's... don't have. You know what I mean? People don't have it. And that's a key. Well, that word you said right there is another thing that jammed me. Yep. So they asked Keezy, what does he do for a living? So he said he has a business interest, you know, referring to us. And he told him what he does. And um Keezy stated that uh, they said, well, what do you do? He said, I do firearms training and preferably and uh, most notably, I do um, I do subjects on de-escalation and things like that. Oh, so man. He said that, you know, what I mean, they kept running with that every time he fucking answered something crazy. They ran with that, man. All right. Well, if you out here scream, if if you and this dude are tussling and shit and you claim that you de-escalated the shit, you know what I mean? Why are you still yelling back at this dude every time he fucking walks away? Yeah. You know that's, what I mean? That's... You know, dude is walking away yelling like, dude is walking toward the car and you fucking firing back. Like, I understand, man. You, you ain't scared. You ain't no fucking nut, man. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Right, I mean, I get it. The motherfucker was fucking That's one of those, like, yeah, you know what, nigga, come back. I got something for his ass. I ain't going up there behind him. Exactly. So you got, got something for his ass. Exactly. So you got to pull attack, man. Attack is cool in any situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> attack is cool. But I'm like, I'm like, but damn, I mean, but that's that. That's like the thing. I mean, I probably say probably eighty to ninety five percent of the problems that happen in the street. They can be dealt with by somebody just DS slips. All right, look, man, ask yep. me to play with this, with this shit. This shit ain't worth it. I'm like, either I die, you die, or I go to jail, we both go to jail, whatever. For what? Nothing. Yep. I promise y'all, tonight will be the last night. Y'all probably see me smoking. I, I promise myself on my birthday tomorrow, I ain't smoking shit. <laughs> he said, he said, yeah, he's smoking nothing, dog. Happy, happy early birthday, bro. Yeah, man, yeah. happy birthday, bro. You know what I mean? I'm like, uh, I'm like, happy birthday these days. Yeah, bro, that, that's crazy. So, like I was saying, you know, that that's a lesson, you know, right? For everybody, God forbid, you get into a situation, you know. Yeah. And y'all, y'all the first to know about it. You know what I mean? I mean y'all first to know about appreciate it. it. I mean, yeah, I man, because I mean, I that's about it or nothing. I mean, because like that's also helpful. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, shoot, it's like you know, we we go to Pennsylvania a lot. You know, here, here and there, like even out here. But I know next, Thanks, y during the summertime, I'm gonna be in the Philly area. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? Pennsylvania and Philly can be different on what they believe in or what I can carry, where I can carry too. So I'm like, I'm trying to. That's a great area to me right now, and I'm trying to figure out well, what am I gonna do when I go there? Can I carry my shit? Oh yeah, this you know, I, you know, I'm one to ask, man. And you know what, man? One thing, man. You know, like me. Honestly, I, I, I'm in law enforcement. I don't know if most of y'all know. I actually went back to work. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm police again. But with that being said, one thing with laws, man, I always keep up on. I always, I, I'm always, i always a source that keep up on laws, especially with this. Oh, yeah. Especially with this shit. Yo, I get pulled over up there. I'm like, yo, I know, you got no time, man. I know time. Don't try nothing, man. I know time. I know time. <laughs> They probably like that crazy motherfucker. <laughs> he probably motherfucker crazy, but all right, yeah, we're gonna leave you alone if you're associated with him. <laughs> I was like, man, look, they, they got nicknames for me already and everything. Somebody said I look like a Call of Duty DLC character. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, they probably like funny. Yo, yeah, that is hilarious. I was like, like the police army weapons guy was like. Yo, Tom, you gotta teach me some of this shit, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Picture that. Picture, you know, being a cop, you come in, he's like, yeah, I'm the popo now. And she's like, right. what? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, boy, fish, no, man. I, I, I'm like, you know what I mean? There's been some times with situations where, but I'm that person that where 
I play it cool until the end. You know what I mean? That's why I said if it's ever a situation and I do have to fire up on somebody, oh, that's going to be no question. It was self-defense. I'm, I'm making sure of that shit. Yeah. Bro, it's a shut the fuck It's one of those shut the fuck up. Siege, what's going on? It's a shut the fuck up. Don't talk. Stay quiet. Talk to your lawyer and let your lawyer take care of it from there, bro. Don't yeah. fucking talk. Yep. Yo. Motherfuckers yeah. be getting a cheeseburger and be like, those are my boys. Yo, man, Yo. I remember shit like back I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you that, like, but I don't know nothing. Everybody, and another not thing too, man. Boy. I'm gonna tell you where they really, really fucked up at. Like, so funny as shit. Um uh, the prosecution never talked to the guy that was with Keezy. Never. No, never. So they they did i guess i was i was assuming that in my mind i'm thinking that they figured Keezy's lawyer didn't even know about the guy so it wasn't until they until the lawyer submitted his name as a witness all of a sudden they needed to talk to him well that was on friday before <laughs> the fucking court date you know what i mean the court date oh. was monday so he called us and he's like man you know what should i do i was like man fuck them niggas <laughs> he was like for real i'm like yeah i'm like don't call it. i'm like nah don't go there and talk to them about shit because i said you what they're gonna do is take your testimony and try and spin it around so i you said know. nah let them see you in court if they if they didn't feel it was important to talk to you in the six fucking months that went by and no, yeah, ain't important to now. you know what i, I mean would, so would talk to them for shit you know what i mean and then and then funny as shit you know I, i'm in the same sector as the detective that you know that locked Keezy up, and he's talking to me. He's oh yeah, you know what I mean. You know yeah, our you know our department's opening up, man. We'd love to have you. I'm like man, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. And yeah, because like, of that, it, it's just like nah, like like man, yo, let me tell you the dumbass shit they did. So their their version of the video, right? These motherfuckers show their video evidence in court, so. They said, yeah, go ahead and play it. It was one of the officers. He took his cell phone and recorded the shit from his cell phone. So conveniently, he only recorded when Keezy shot him. Oh, that was it. <laughs> so, oh, man. So it was funny as shit. So uh, the judge was like, what's this? And then you could hear the motherfucking narrating the shit in the background. <laughs> so Keezy's lawyer was like, yo, get this shit out of here. Like, this <laughs> Like this motherfucker narrating and shit in the background, like what the fuck? Yo, that's, so that's the judge was like, well, "Where was this video recorded from?" And the officer was like, "Uh, my cell phone." He was like, "Well, why did you record it from your cell phone?" He was like, "Because Wawa said they're gonna take a couple days to get the um to to get the footage to me." So you recorded it from your cell phone? Then you're in the background talking. He was like, nah, get that shit out of here. So they, they dismissed that shit, man. Oh, I mean, it was like, nope, here's the whole video here. I mean, he, he just wanted to catch the half, like, yep, yep, mm -hmm. I caught the black dude when he shot him. Like, oh, yeah, he was like, did you catch the whole thing? He was like, yeah. What? And you only recorded this part? He was like, get that shit out of here. Man. Yeah, know what he did? He like edited that shit. Cut out the rest of it. Like, I only <laughs> want the black guy shooting him. That, that's what today's society looks at it. Yep. You yeah, seen I find that shit on some site now. Saying like, you see this? The black violence. This is how they do. Oh nah, boy. Yeah, he'll. The last thing he want to do is put that shit, put that <laughs> video out, man. He'll fuck around, man. They'll subpoena his phone, man. Hell yeah, man. They'll be like, I know what else is in there. I mean, yeah, that, ain't, that shit ain't no joke, man. That's why, yeah, I was always careful about like taking pictures and shit with my phone, like. At fucking crime scenes and shit like that. I think the only thing I've ever taken a picture of at any call, I went to this domestic one time. <laughs> Y'all remember the fucking big squid? Remember when TVs first went flat, but they still had the big ass back? The big ass oh, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Screen and went, shit in the back. Yeah, like I went to this domestic one time, and uh, and something kept saying, "Look down, look down, look down," and I looked down, and they had the fucking flat, fat back flat screen TV as a fucking coffee table. Oh, shit. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? 
<laughs> and I was like, nobody's ever going to believe me. So I'm going to That's some ghetto <laughs> shit, man. And like, you knew it was a table because it had like an ashtray sitting on it. It had a little vase and shit. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Damn, that's some ghetto shit. Yeah, fish. Damn. So so now he won't have any backs. Nah. Damn, man. Should he get out? He gonna have to learn some jujitsu. Some shit. Oh, that's Keezy, dog. He knows Keezy. <laughs> Keezy is a black belt in Keezy, dog. Like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Keezy, like, I'm gonna spin that spot, correcting my craft. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, so that, that was the one thing that upset everybody, man. The fact that he even took the stand, man. Knowing that he was going to do that. Then he was throwing history lessons. This nigga was talking about the Black Panthers and shit. We was like, oh, oh man. Fuck? Oh, man, he went that route, man. Was like, yes, yeah, so that's the thing. He he just let it get to him, man. He let his emotions take over. And after that, prosecutor like, oh, I got them. I got him now. Yeah. He right where I want him to be. Yeah, so yeah. he said, he said, Keys is still gonna throw the trap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, one, I, you know what? One thing, uh, see, man, nah, you know what? He, Keys is pretty law abiding, man. You, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, man, if they told him no to something, man, you know, it'll draw some heat. <laughs> He's so he, he, he ain't, he, he ain't gonna want to go there. He's gonna have oh, to Oh, but yeah, that was the shit I was talking about. Uh, so, so yeah. So, long story short, I said they didn't. Um, they never bought his Keezy's witness in. So, they asked the they asked the uh, the detective. They was like, "Well, how did you how did you figure out who Keezy is?" Now, there's no secret. Keezy rides with a club, right? So, Keezy had his colors on at night, and the other person had their colors on. So, they go to. They, they called some task force who they sent a picture of him to, and they was like, yeah, we know him. That's Keezy. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yo, what y'all want with him? Yeah, like, yeah, they was like, yeah, his name is Keezy. So they was like, all right. So they said it, so they found out it was him through that. Then they checked the Facebook page and confirmed, boom, all right. That's how they got Keezy info. If that was the case, why the fuck didn't you do that with the other guy? Because this they task sure force, have. that's what they do. They follow this club around. So why the fuck didn't you? Why didn't you call and get the information to the other guy if you so called want to talk to him? Guess but they never did They didn't think anybody else knew who he was. He was one dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, I, I know you know this guy. Who is this guy? <laughs> who is this guy? Oh, that's Keith. I believe. Nigga, I don't know him. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Yo, they can show me a picture of me chilling with him. I still like, I don't know that. Bro, Keezy is a such a cool fucking dude. Bro. Yeah, he is, man. Yeah, yeah he straight up is. He's man. funny. Keezy. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you know. So you know, he, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, he he misses everybody and everything, man. You know, if you have the information to get at him, man, get at him, man. Yeah, man. We gonna. Um... Y'all three days, too. three days. DB Cooper, Monday to Wednesday, or damn, Monday to Thursday. <laughs> Excuse me, because it took the uh, jury two days to fucking decide what they were gonna do. Oh dang, and he's probably like, in, I mean, yeah, that, that's rough, man. I mean, like he was, especially like if you in one of them type of liberal areas too, where they be frowned upon guns as usual. You got a chance. But here's the thing that bothered me too, man. It was like, why the fuck did he call the cops? But yeah. every time I ask myself that, every time I, I can always keep playing in my head, because y'all done seen him do it on our show. I ain't calling no fucking police. You know what I mean? I ain't calling yeah, no fucking true. police. So it's like, damn, him saying that shit, you know what I mean? And him doing yeah. that shit. It just it just made the situation look worse. But he could have stopped the big headache from that point. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> that is true. What a four fucking ten. Speaking of that, that was funny. 
Yeah. So yeah, that that for that those... part, no, no, the explanation to that was funny. No. Oh. So the explanation to that was uh they said, uh, how did you end up shooting him there? So he says, uh, because the dude got hit on his right side. So um he says to the dude, he, he he says to the prosecutor, he said, well, you know, I didn't want to kill the guy, so I shot low. And he said, <laughs> you shot right there. And oh, he said, man. He said, but you shot right there. He said, you know, you got you got all kinds of veins and shit there. You got the femoral artery right there. He could have bled out and died. So he said, so he said, uh, <laughs> the femoral, and the femoral artery is on the right side. So Kesey said, no, the femoral artery is on the left. So, which he's right. Yeah. So uh, he said, well, how did you know the femoral artery is on the right? And Kesey says, I seen it on Gray's Anatomy. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, bro. That is fucking funny, bro. Thinking like, oh, this dude's a wise guy. Okay. (laughs) Nah, by that point, that by that point of the conversation, they weren't looking like he's a wise guy. They were like, "This motherfucker is a, a war vet." <laughs> they were like, "Yo, he yeah. is a war vet through and through, yeah. bro." He was. He said, "I seen it on Grey's Anatomy," and I was like, "What? The <laughs> fuck did I just hear?" Oh shit, man! Yeah, oh, somebody, man. somebody did. I mean, I mean, probably the dude may not want to have been seen in public like that. You know, he may have been carrying a little bag around with him or got the little portable pee bag. Yeah. I know one thing. <laughs> that, that nigga ain't never going to talk no shit to nobody else again. He'd be like, oh, uh, fuck no. The dude was like, I ain't, I ain't coming to court. Dude straight up told him he ain't coming. They sent a material witness warrant for him and everything. Yo, Red Dawn, it's not. You said Keezy sounds like he was acting a fool in court. Keezy was not acting. Nah, nah, he, he was, he was he not acting. Keezy is Keezy. Nah, he, he was, was just talking too fucking much. Yeah, boy, that's the thing. I always learn one thing, boy. They, they used to have a hard time getting shit out of me, man. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah, you don't know a lot of things, do you? I'm like, I'm like, nah, man. I'm gonna tell you, I was there, but I guess I wasn't in the mix. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I knew, I knew Keezy was Keezy when I was messing. I was messing with his farm animals. And he's like, man, leave my chicken alone. He got knocked me. And I looked at him. And I was like, are you serious? He was like, leave that chicken alone. And I was like, I feel yeah. bad for him. I was like, what? Yeah, scenario. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, folks got to figure out what to do with the fucking animals. Because uh, cause it, it was already relayed to him. Like, look, bro, yo, we can't. Everybody can't fucking take care of the animals because Ty said to me, she's like, Yeah, we gotta go take turns feeding animals. I was like, uh <laughs> no. No. And then the goat, and then the two goats had a baby goat. Oh man. Oh, like, I think oh. Jess Jess wants that goat. Huh? I think Jess wants that goat. I think she it's I could be wrong. Them. Well, now there's three of them now because the two that made it. <laughs> Earl, Earl got himself some goat buns. Yeah, boy, Earl, Earl right, see, boy, he said, I'm gonna get you in the bar. Shout out, shout out uh uh Earl, Keezy's goat. I'm not gonna lie, when I met that, when I met that goat for a little bit, I almost had static with that goat. And then I looked over at Keezy, I said, If I fucking shoot this goat, <laughs> like, he's gonna try and shoot me, dog. Like, yeah, you know, boy, hey, 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 Red Dawn, I mean, uh give me uh just hit me up and get my number and i'll give it to you and i'll give you the number to the uh i'll give you to the the number to you know the person who you know can make that happen red yeah. dog not for life hit me up that's not my uh yeah that's not my red dog right, gonna take it boy right, but they're gonna red end dog, up on somebody's serious. plate boy they're gonna end up on them red dog red dog if you're serious about it if you're serious about it red dog hit me up after the live red dog doesn't have um he doesn't have ig or whatever D- David Banner is without WWW. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> he says he's singing already today. All right, Red Dawn, hit yeah, me up. Yeah, like I said, uh, hit me up if you if you got if you got contact me, and I'll and I'll put you through to the person that uh to the person that um um 
Okay, cool. We can make that happen with the goats. There it is. Cool, great. He's got, he's got, middle, man. He's got uh, goats. He's got two pigs. And he's got chickens and roosters. There it is. Red Dawn. So, find a nice home. Me right. and Pierre going to turn him in the goat chops. Red Dawn going to turn them goats in the goat chops. No, 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 no. It's Tom. Not Keezy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, man, Red Dawn, so you're going to put them goats on the dinner plate. Hey, at that point, I mean, it's like. <laughs> nah, he's not going to put them on the dinner plate. He ain't going to do that. No. Yeah, I, you know, I, I feel bad. Hey, I got... You better keep that shit a secret because Casey ever finds out, dog. <laughs> he's going to fucking hunt. He's going to hunt you down, bro. Oh, oh me? No, not you. Not you, oh. Red Dog. He be like, he be like, Daddy, hey, what, happened to, what happened to Earl? Oh, uh, Earl ended up on the plate. <laughs> nah, I think I think somebody already broke it down to him. Like, yo, bro, like you're gonna have to do that because it is like nobody's gonna be doing that shit for that's, the next that's true, couple man. Of years. Everybody yeah, you know be. Yeah, I'm hoping they get. Uh, I hope they let him off with good behavior. You know what I mean? Yeah. Earl. Ain't nobody messing with Keezy. What, 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 what a judge pretty much, the judge was pretty much, you know, fucking with Keezy. You know what I mean? Like, he, you know, he was on, he was pretty much like, yeah, he'll be lenient. But the part that pissed me off was uh, I wasn't there when they, uh, when they, when they said he was guilty. Um, but Ty said, the prosecutor turned around and said, uh, yeah, and you know, I want to know if he could have his bail revoked too. And the judge looked at him and was like, "Fuck no, dude! Like, are you serious? Like, you just put this man through this bullshit, and and now and now you want to revoke his bail? Like, no." But it's smart if he doesn't bail out because if he doesn't bail out, they'll credit him a year for being in. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. So that's smart. In three to five, you said three to five before, right? Yeah. Three to five, he should be yeah, against so, him. Yeah, so he'll get credited the whole year if he doesn't bail out before sentencing. Are they, are they doing uh, one day, one night counted as a day each? Uh, I guess so. I don't fucking know. Yeah. I've never been to jail before, yeah. dog. Yeah. I'm, boy. I, I'm going to leave it at that. All right. <laughs> yes. Somehow I avoided that situation. A couple open nights, but no big deal. Yeah. Never the full stake. I used to uh, run. I did that. They credit him a year. Yeah. So he'll be, he'll be out. He'll... Yeah, long. This time next year. Everything goes well and smooth. Yeah. So. Oh, but they're going to take away his oh, gun sure. rights, man. You might be. Yo, bro, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. That he might be able to get them shits back. Yeah, he, what? Yeah, he be. It's gun right. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. He, can, he might be. He just gotta wait a little bit and. Yeah, he know, should be able. To, he, sh he should be able to get pardoned here. All he gotta do is move to West Virginia, explain the situation. He's like, all right, we'll fight. Well, nah, he might be able to. He he he'll probably be able to get them pardoned. Yeah. You know I mean? So. A Q. I'm not gonna lie, Q. When I seen that, I did five and oh my, I read that. I said, he's lying. <laughs> you know, in my head, I was like, he's lying. He, not a shot. He said he did five and oh my. I don't even think that place is fucking open anymore. Anyway, yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, bro. Yo, it's no joke, bro. It's no joke. That's why, like, yo, bro, knowing, like you said earlier, knowing the laws. Having insurance and shutting the fuck up. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Knowing the laws. Okay. For shutting the fuck up. Don't say a fucking word. Cop, are the cops come to arrest you? What happened? Yo. I don't know. That's exactly what I used to do, man. I'll tell you. That's what I, tell you. I don't know. I'll be like, yo, I'm trying. Can I call my lawyer? Can I call my lawyer? Anything they ask you. Can I call my lawyer? 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 Yeah, I just remember the shit that whenever you scut up, like, no, nah, I don't recall that. And I used to just always say, Yo, bro, in that situation, like I said, they're going to take you in anyway. So it makes no sense to fucking try and reason with them. I ain't going to talk about like They're going to be like, all right, go ahead. You can go. They're going to take you in. They're going to grab whatever information they can, and then they're going to take you in. Yeah, I'm trying to show this to, uh, 
to Red Dawn because I think he messaged the wrong page. What the fuck? Hold on, let me uh. Do, 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 do. If you know, like I said, as long as you understand that they're going to take you in, it makes no sense to talk. What do you mean that's not completely true? Uh, are you crazy? If you shoot somebody, they're taking you in fish. Well, all depends on, see, I mean, if the person was shooting at you, you had to shoot back, they start shooting first, you just... Uh, they're taking you in. They uh, still going to take you in, though. <clears throat> And I don't know if you're gonna spend the night there or not, but they don't people leave town. To police, what? That where where people should have talked to police, or yeah, and they didn't have a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, don't don't do it without a lawyer, man. No, don't, don't, bro, don't you know, fucking you know, get a lawyer, bro. Somebody will find a way to fucking spin the shit on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Unless, that's, unless that's, it was clear and cut, like you know, you got audio and shit, man. Even then, man, I still ain't fucking. Bro, that audio gets lost. Some dude starts tapping on their camera like this. Yeah. They start doing this number like that. You screw audio is locked up. Bro, fish, you, you, I wouldn't give that information to people. I wouldn't give that information to people, dog. I would stay yeah, with yeah. Don't fucking say anything. Call Take you. Take it from me, fish. Don't do that. Lawyer up. Fish, do you guys fuck around and listen to fish? You're gonna be hot in 15 years. Want to fucking come? He's here. like, no, big fish told me to do it. Big fish told me to talk to the cop. I talk to y'all. This what y'all do to me? It's like, no, nah, fuck that, man. But I look, y'all, no offense. I'm gonna give the statement to my lawyer, and then y'all deal with him. He's like, well, we're gonna take you down on the sub. Go ahead, man. Shit, I need to sleep anyway. Take Red Dawn, you you messaged the wrong person, bro. <laughs> he probably messaged somebody and be like, oh, we got some goats. Yeah. What? Oh, they're probably, who the fuck is this? What the hell do you mean goats? What are you talking about <laughs> goats? Yeah, he, uh, he he messaged the wrong page. The surplus, you want a surplus page? Yeah, I only run one page, uh, but we got like fucking five different pages. All right, hold on. I'm going to send it to him right now. Yeah. Nah, tell, oh, well, never mind. Tell him, hold on. All right, tell him, uh, never mind. I got it. It was in my uh, request. All right. All right. Yeah, I got you, bro. He said, if I up it, someone's lying. So there's only going to be one side of the story. And guess what? They will twist that story because, uh, you know, Getting a promotion for catching a bad guy with a gun who who murdered somebody definitely is more important than them you than to them than you defending yourself, yeah, trying yeah. to be the good guy. They they don't give a fuck about you, fish. No, you think you're like, oh, you're big fish. You got all the B and T's. Hey, I say hey, the I got you, brother. I got you, brother. Fuck you. Know, like, I say the like, day, you know, like, there ain't silent. Anything you say will be like they're gonna fucking read you your Miranda rights, oh. cuff you, and shove your head right in that fucking backseat, dog. Yep. So like, yo, I mean, only way you kind of get away with it in a clean cut. I say somebody try to rob you, you know what I mean? And then you, you know, what I mean, like they were armed, you was armed, they try to rob you, and you just blast them up. Bro, the way you guys are talking, and I'm not saying I'm a badass or anything like this, but I really genuinely what feel you like. Doing? Not dealt with cops. No, like, I, I really feel like the way you, the shit you guys are saying, I feel like you guys have not dealt with cops. No, if you guys haven't seen a cop do this to his thing, <laughs> if you've never been in the conversation and see this, yo, dog, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I know stop. what you're talking about. Shit. Just stop. And do it like this. Request that video and audio. Go ahead. Request that video and audio. All you hear is this. No, maybe every time it ends up What's your name? The station, man. Stop. That's your name? Stop resisting. (laughs) (laughs) Stop resisting. Yo, bro, you guys are fucking sick. (laughs) They'd be tapping, man. They'd be like, they'd be trying to gas it up. You know what I mean? And yeah, I mean, and this 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 is a weird state too, man, because I've actually seen so 
before I before I left Chester, man, we had a, we had an old head here, man. He had just got out of jail for murder, and he had been out like two years. And so back in the day, this dude he was that guy. He was that guy back in the day. Well, some some little young dude tried to rob him one morning, and he shot and killed. It was two of them. He shot he he shot both of them, but he killed one of them. That mm. motherfucker got off. Convicted felon with a gun. They ain't even charging with the fucking <laughs> self defense, boy. He's like, no. he's like, yeah, see, you keep it, man. Somebody trying to rob you. It's different. So I mean, you got free range to pop. That's up. Yeah, they ain't even charging. They ain't even charging. You know, com, you know, for being a felon with a fucking gun. I was like, holy shit. Man, they probably said, hey, that's one less criminal we got to deal with. They tried to tip, rob him. Oh. Listen, when, when you have cops telling you, uh, yo, if uh, you get arrested, if you have cops who are friends and we're openly telling you, shut the fuck up, mm-hmm. oh, you should shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> you should really yeah. shut the fuck up. Like yeah. on the friendship, like them not, not locking you up like you like a conversation now. Tom openly said he's like, I am the popo. He's telling you, shut the fuck up and lawyer up. He's yeah. a cop telling you to shut the fuck up and lawyer up so for anybody to argue that you're fucking crazy but you know the one thing that that i don't like man i said well tell you what happened like i'm not gonna do that man i'm like i'll tell my lawyer what happened and therefore then he will relay and talk to whoever he needs to on your side yep and they used to hate that shit. They'd be like, well, how come you do? I'm like i don't trust y'all like that i was like and also i just would be incriminating my own self so yeah talk to my lawyer you're like, well, that case, we're gonna have to take you down, Jeff. So what, bitch? Give me a place to lay my head down. You was gonna do that shit anyway. Thank yeah. it over. Like you gonna take me down anyway? So take me on the jail, shit. Fuck. <laughs> Go hard. Better use your shoes as pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Straight the fuck up. You better hope you got you got some phone oh, lines with yeah. you. That bitch is cozy. Yeah, but you know the best thing is even when you go down there and you be in like the little. Like dog on like overnighter and shit. If you got a sweatshirt, shit, they wanted to keep that shit on. They don't let you take it off. I'm just saying there's been self-defense cases where they would have been let go that night that turned into months of jail because they plead the fifth. Yeah, because they don't have a fucking lawyer. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of tough when you ain't got a lawyer. Bro, what kind of sundown town shit you talking about? I mean, I don't know, so I had this lawyer, but I lived in Virginia, boy, he was he was my crowd, a criminal lawyer, and I had a child case lawyer. My criminal lawyers always take care of shit. He said, shit, if you can't dip out, you motherfuckers are criminals, let me tell you. Hell yeah, yeah. dip out. He's a dip out, call him later. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you know, yo, no, 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 you gotta. Kind of hard to do that, man, it's you fucking camera. Cap- yo, it's cameras everywhere, man. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm cap- saying. Yeah. Later, you'd be like, yo, right. you have all your lawyers. Be like, yo, man, I left a body nobody, in the street, man. Nobody wants to be locked up with no hairy legged bastards and mad smelly. You got COs fucking telling you what to do, fuck telling up. you shut the fuck up. You, you got nasty food. Yo, can I keep up? Up? Yeah, yeah, in a minute. Five hours later, <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yo, yo, come on, bro. Yeah, 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 in a minute. <laughs> you starving motherfuckers eating in front of you like damn that sucks <laughs> yeah like uh, you know all that dipping out and shit man look man that shit it's, hard good. To, it's hard to do that because like i said it's cameras everywhere man everywhere let me man. tell you about some new shit let me tell you about some new shit we got in the cars yo so you know a lot of red lights you go through got cameras man a lot of red light if somebody really want to fucking get you they can get you any fucking time man you know oh, yeah. I mean? they know where you're at all you gotta do is type in the license plate bro everywhere you at and where you at the most so uh, it's it. like well, it's you can't yeah. go damn Got some red lights and shit. yeah that's, that's why i stay out of trouble man yeah you got it, man. You know, just 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 there's just be on the street and narrow right. man there's mm-hmm. gems being dropped right now you guys listening is everybody here what the fuck just got said like literally i got Type in your license plate number, and I know everywhere you've been in the last 30 days, how many times you've been there, and everything. Oh, as long as that area's got a red light camera, like, fuck. That's it. it'll read it up, too. If you stop the mass shooter, are you talking immediately or pleading the fifth? That's if the cops don't come in and shoot your ass first. 
Yo, they were coming. Yo, you know what happened? That dude at the mall, the dude was like, "Hey, I got the, I shot the guy holding his weapon." You gotta, you, know, bro, you gotta make you stop the shooter, bro. Now you got another thing to worry about. Your best bet to put that gun on the fucking floor, bro, and just lay down because them dudes are coming, guns blazing. Yeah, I'm yep. not stopping no mass shooter. I'm just saving my family. Fuck everybody else. I'm like, yo, if he starts shooting my direction, and ball means I'll shoot back. But if he ain't, if I'm able to get away from it, I ain't fucking with it. because that mass shooter could also have a third. Could also you, you be a third party to maybe a two party situation. He may yeah, have well, guess what, bro, bro, listen, the whole mass shooter thing is very sketchy, bro. Yeah, and you, you know, know like everybody has thoughts of being a hero, and I'm not saying not to to not go for the gold. I'm not telling people that, but everybody has thoughts of being a hero, right? But I'm it's not. just not a you stop the guy and it's all over. So you, you <laughs> right? So you stop the mass shooter. You just shot somebody. What about the people who are bending the corner and just see you shooting somebody? Yep. And they're like, the shooter is wearing this. Yeah, he's right they there. Don't right there. Going on. All they know is that the shooter just shot somebody and he's wearing this. But little that they know that you stop somebody from shooting. What about that? You're gonna yep. fucking like what, what? What? Being a third party in a one or two party situation, you'll always will get fucked. Well, the other Either thing, death or you'll get labeled as the. You know what I mean? So that's why it's best you can avoid it. Don't try to be a hero. I don't know because you know I'm I'm with I'm with you, Dust man. With a lot of these mass shooters, a lot of these fucking things were fucking sketchy as fuck, man. Like yeah. they just they seem like fucking setups. Yeah, like all right, th like that one in the fucking mall in Indiana, and they said that motherfucker took a, they said that motherfucker took a, a um, a 40, 40 yard shot. Uh, it was twenty five yards and it was braced. Well, that's a fucking, that's a taut shot. Yeah, yeah. And, and nobody, nobody is just coming out the fucking blue doing that. So, shit. so, so, so to be. Mm, I don't know if I could even release this because I know exactly which one you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll say this. That dude did train. And it's confirmed. That dude never trained. Yeah, no. That dude did train. It's confirmed. Well, obviously, if he took a free yeah, yeah. shot, shot. Yeah, that dude That dude trained. And yeah. It, it's confirmed. Oh, I think right. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did say he trained. You know the person that they trained with on top of that. I do. So yeah, you do. You know the person that they trained with. Fair enough. So but yeah, no, I, I definitely understand that that happened to be like, I guess the situation, like just happened to be there, or whatever. But I don't know. Like I said, it's all it's all uh sketchy. It's all sketchy. Really Bro, 25 yard shot, 25 yard shot, one shot is a train shot, 40 yard shot, one shot. Is a train shot. You have to know your way with the firearm to make that shot. That's yeah. true. And, and then and then bracing yourself doing it. That yeah that the thing that stood out. It was like, and they said this motherfucker ain't never trained before. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. They had to make, <laughs> okay. they had to make it look even Lord was working with him and shit. Like, hey man, oh, gotcha. yeah, like, like I just naturally did this shit. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't know, just some kind of super being took over me. I just felt I to make a shot. I just took it. Tom was in my ear. <laughs> oh man, yeah, man. That 25 round shot. I always tell people, man, don't try to be no hero now. If you out and somebody starts shooting and you got no way out and you got your weapon, and yeah, you gotta choose your spots wisely, but just observe what's going on. You know what I mean? Especially if you're in a store and shit and some shit go down because that person you in other words, I tell people like this. If the shit's moving so quickly, everybody can be running. Look for the person that's not running and just look like they just walking around. That's the person there that's probably looking out for the shoot. Yep. Nine times out of ten because everybody else can be scrambling. Why is that person walking? Yo, we was in Dallas and they started shooting, Tom. Yeah, yeah that's it. You we was downtown Dallas, dog. Go here. Yep. He came out the bar. And, and I was and like, guess, I just and guess what? And guess what? What? Nine times out of ten. That motherfucker came right back to the scene. Yo, oh no, wait, hold on. So check this out. <laughs> it's shooting, dog. Everybody's running, and we're having a discussion about this shit. And I looked, and I'm like, 
yo, that shit's like down the block and around the corner, like. Yeah, you know what I mean. I saw into the conference. situation and shit. And we're just like, all right, we're gonna get out of here. Just off. Off. But they were going vertically. You know what I mean? So I was like, man, why are these people running? They won't shoot me down the block. And the cops was over there. They were they was ducking because they were right there. Like, <laughs> they were right there. And they were ducking down there like they looked over us like, what the fuck's wrong with them? They're still talking. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. But, you know, when you, I'm like, they don't understand. When you are in what we do, you hear gunshots going on. Dog, we heard gunshots all day. So all you know, day, bro. We got an event here, gunshots all day. We just so looked. I'm like, dude, you know which direction that they're going into. I'm like, but that one girl was like, she got behind me. She's like, I'm scared. I was like. Dang, you gonna <laughs> sacrifice me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I was like, just gonna sacrifice me up and shit for yourself. I see how you win. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Yo, I seen the cops running, and I was like, damn, bro, they have entirely way too much gear, or they need to train more. Yeah, yeah, the cops were well, they, like, they had way too much going on. Like, I, like, I looked, I seen them running. I was like, damn, bro, it looks like you're walking, but you're trying they everything. You're the, the, the other one jumped in. I'm like, I gotta take off. I'm like, um, yeah, all right. I'm like, all right, that's cool. I mean, the street was blocked off anyway, where, where the bars were. So, not, not like the criminal was driving down the block. You know what I mean? He couldn't get down there. Free keys. But out of 10, like I said, they come back to the scene, man, because you know what? You see that all the time, man. That's one of the biggest things, man. You learn that in a crime scene class. They said, yo, when things get something things happens. Pass by. Let's just pass by. Well, when something yo, happens. I remember like when shit used to happen like in New York and in Philly. And you see everybody standing around. It's like in the 90s back in the day and shit. You see everybody standing around. That dude always come back and shit. Yep, because they want to look to see, they want to see what they did, man. Yep, yeah, uh, yep. My man was like, you know, I, I was like, I was like, yeah, he want to make sure that uh, whoever he was trying to get was dead. Yep, dude, I had that happen at a fucking DUI one time, man. We, we yo, three o'clock in the morning, motherfuckers just look. I was somewhere, I was somewhere, knocked the fuck out. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> Yeah, call on a radio for a fucking crash. Get there. There's a fucking van. This van rear ended this parked car. It launched the car. The car went over top of two cars and landed on like the third car. So you know he was fucking moving. Get out there, everybody. Now all of a sudden, all these motherfuckers come out of nowhere at three o'clock in the morning, standing around looking to see what the fuck happened. I'm sitting there, I'm getting all the info. I get the info out the van. To see whose van it was, I turn around and it's this big fat motherfucker standing in the, in the crowd <laughs> looking over, and all I see is blood coming out of his fucking head. But he's looking like so I, I just walk over to him, man. I just fucking cuff him. I'm like, look, he's in custody. I, I thought he left the scene. Nah, he, he came back to fucking look. Yo, oh, man. Yeah. He's He's like, yo, he's tough, like, yo, scalp cuffing this fool, man. He's yeah, like, I just walked over and cuffed him while he was standing there. He bitching and shit. I ain't care, man. Like, yo, last year, I, down, well, down, down. I had nothing to do with it, man. I got splat, got blood splat on me, man. Down, yeah, like, down the no, street. His from fucking head was gushing. <laughs> and I'm not supposed to pay that any mind. Yo, so down the street oh, from my work is a roundabout. And, uh, I was at the shop. I was at my shop super late, bro. It was like 1, 1 30 and I'm going home in the morning. And I look and I see in the middle of the roundabout, there's a car breached with the doors open. Well, <laughs> one of the doors open, hazards on, shit smoking, fucking a lot of going off, dog. And I'm like, oh, this shit must have just happened. So I go around the roundabout and I'm looking and I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Nobody's in the car. And I'm like, well, it's fucking 1 30 in the morning. There isn't a soul out. I'm the only car besides this one. Yo, I drive like 15, 20 more feet up. I get past it and I go to the straightaway. I look to my left. Yo, this dude's walking with his backpack. Like nothing happened. I looked at him. Yo. And he's just like, yo, man, you seen that accident? That's crazy. I looked at him. I said, Nick, that's your car. Bro. Like, <laughs> yo. And I just kept driving. But that's what people want to do. You never want to admit that shit. You're incriminating yourself. You yeah, know bro, what I mean? I mean you just don't say nothing, man. It's one of those. I work in one of those. I work directly, directly outside of this small fucking town. It is a small town, bro. 
a small yeah, town. Tiny as hell. At one in the morning, there's not a soul out. Summer, winter, spring, it, no one's out. And I wouldn't want to be a black man walking out there, though. Yeah. In summertime, too, boy. Uh, well, I'm not worried about that. You crazy? I work on the cops' cars. Anyway, <laughs> I, I'm good, bro. Like, <laughs> it, yo, you know what's crazy? It does, get out, motherfucker. Yo, it, it, it doesn't mean nothing, actually, because I did get pulled over once. I said, nigga, I was working on your car last week. <laughs> but <laughs> outside of that, yo, bro, I, I couldn't believe it. I laughed because I just seen him with his backpack. He was walking his hands, and he's just trying to walk as normal as possible. And I'm like, dog, no one is out. There's not even a sidewalk where we're at right now for you to even be walking. You're walking in the grass and trying to convince me that, oh, that car accident's crazy. Yeah, man, you trying to play it off and see. I look and I'm like, no, I'm not, you don't got to worry about me. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I got some shit in the tech files that I keep Yo, matter of line, fact, but Matter of fact, I kid you not, bro, I might have this on fucking, I might have a video of that shit. If I have a video of that shit, I'm playing it for you guys. You guys are going to crack up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I kid you not. Yo, you're going to laugh. Hold on. Yo, you know what, though? Speaking of, like, speaking of Dallas, though, Dallas was cool, man. But, you know, constitutional carry really does help Texas, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think Con because... Okay. You know, with with that one bar we went to, man, I was, you, you know, you probably would have gave that maybe five or ten years ago, man. Them, man, them dudes would have fucked with us, man. You know what I mean? I wasn't worried about it. Yeah, I mean, they would have fucked with us five, ten years ago. Somebody would have got fucked up, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I was like, yo, you got all the way, they got always remember, I don't need no gun, but I got hands first. Yo, hold on. Damn, man. Young old dude, young old dude. Still fucking all the young gold diggers. Yo, bro, I can't. Oh, man. I'm going to find this video. And if I don't share it on the live, which I probably will share it next time. But I'll definitely <laughs> send it to you, Tom. You're going to be weak, bro. Because in the video, you, I think you can see him like off center. I'm like, yo. Yo, man, he pulled something like Tack would do, man. Be ignoring that shit. Like, yo, man, you see that car burning over there? Shit, bro, man? there was no sidewalk, bro. Oh, there is no sidewalk. I don't know. I don't have played that shit off, too. I'm like, I ain't incriminating myself. I ain't, ain't, ain't my car. That shit is funny. I got to find this video. But outside of that, guys, I think it's about a good time to, to, to end the live. See you guys Thursday. Yeah, definitely. Y'all be safe out there. We'll be giving you updates for Keezy. Tom definitely is going to be giving us updates for sure. Much love, everybody. Thank you guys for coming by. Hold yeah, up, boy. Y'all be yet. safe and thank right. before you pull. Don't, don't go yet. I want to show y'all something. All right. Hold on. Where the fuck? See, y'all see that? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. So, one night, <clears throat> one night, man. We got a call, man. This house, the fucking wind was blowing real bad one night, and the whole front of this house fell down. <laughs> <laughs> the whole front of the house. They call it the Chester. It, it, it was nicknamed the Chester Die House. The house ain't there anymore. But, that is uh, wild. The whole front of the house fell down from the roof. It just started and just went down. So the funny <laughs> shit was the fire department and everybody pulls up. And they look upstairs, and there's a guy laying in the bed. And uh, the fire department <laughs> is trying to get this guy's attention. This guy was fucking knocked out. And <laughs> yeah, the no, whole right. his house fell down, and he just slumped. And the dude wakes up, and he looks, sees the fire guys out there yelling, yo, come on, man, come on, the house is going to fall. And the dude looks at everybody, looks down in the street and shit, Gets back in the bed and lays the fuck back down. He's like, he's like, y'all gonna save my family the time get cremated on the city. <laughs> Yo, man, listen. Oh man, I was like, man, that was one of the funniest things, man, I had ever seen. That and uh, I went to this house one time and um, and I get there and the front door is laying in the street. Or the front door. <laughs> so, um, oh, so 
I when I pull up to the house, the girl comes outside. She's screaming and hollering. I'm like, yo, what's like, what the fuck? She's like, yeah, me and my boyfriend, we got into an argument. Oh, and it was something stupid. And he left the house. He grabbed his phone and left the house and said, slam the door. And when he slammed the door, the front door, the whole fucking uh, the frame and everything fell forward. And he looked at her and said, ha ha, bitch, and fucking left. <laughs> and I, thought, dude, I thought it was I was trying not to laugh. Oh, it was the funniest fucking thing I had ever seen. He got and, the last uh, laugh. And she's like, this is not funny. I said, nah, hold up. Let me help you out. So I said, where's your boyfriend at? She's like, I don't know. He ran off somewhere. I'm like, call him, man. Call him. <laughs> so she called him on the phone. And I told the dude, man, I convinced the dude to come back. I'm like, look, man, just help her fucking put the door or get the door back up. Because y'all got babies and shit in the house. He's like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, that Yo, is why I got a mad like, damn man. I thought that show I was gonna get away with. It. I thought I was gonna end them all. I thought that they all were gone. And then one oh. last thing before y'all go, because I saw I saw uh, uh somebody posted a reel on Instagram today with a motherfucker cooking over the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this, this, this oh, is back man. in this is back oh. in 2016, man. Hold up, just had it. This is back oh. in 2016. Oh man! Oh, nah, man. yo, what? And he has food. Yo, yeah. Food, yo, across bro. the street, across the street, there's he a got, like, chicken quarters in that shit. Yeah, actually, he does. So across the street, <laughs> there's a supermarket. What up? And, what up? Uh, and when their when their meat's about to go bad, you know they got to get rid of it. So they give it to this guy. Now, if you see the guy in that picture, he looks homeless. He's not homeless. Actually, the dude, he's actually very well off. But he's oh, um God. it's crazy. Schizophrenic, and most schizophrenics, they have that uh they have this personality where a lot of them believe they're homeless. Yeah. At least most of them that I've encountered. And uh, so his homeless thing, he stands out there like doodle, duct tape his clothes and everything. Like he looks fucked up. And they gave him meat, and he he took like this great. And lit a fire, and he's out there cooking meat on the fucking side of the street. <laughs> like, oh, the and I remember they called somebody called because there was a fire oh, on the street, and we're like, "Yo, what the fuck?" And Moon, his name is Moon, and Moon was out there just fucking cooking steak and shit. <laughs> Yo, I fucking found it. Hold on. Oh man. He up in there. Yo, that is up in that joint. He in there. Oh, it's in my drive. How the fuck do I get this out of my drive? Yo, that's gotta right. be. Yo, yo, yo. yo. swear to God, you're gonna laugh, Tom. Dude, that's why you love Philly, man. <laughs> but... Look, and there's the food. I, I was younger, I used to see some shit, man. Y'all see the food he cooked? Yeah. Man got the chicken caught around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, he didn't even have oh, here it is. Here's the house with the frame missing. Yo, that is funny. Crazy. Yo, you guys are gonna fucking laugh. I can't believe I found this shit. I can't, yo, I I, I swear to god, I cannot make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. One second. Here's a dog I shot. If anybody knows what that is. Oh, that that those that's some fucking cool Joe, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, Caucasian yeah. masters. This guy had this guy hey. used to breed them, and one got loose, man. And it was going this, to dog I shot. <laughs> this guy and this one, this this one got loose, man, and it fucking went after somebody. So I shot it, and that guy lost his mind, man, when I shot his dog, cause that was his, that was the dog he used to breed. He passed, man, you just shot him, man. That's all yeah. I think about. 
And then I told him I'll shoot you too, motherfucker, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, he probably, probably, probably tell, 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 look, you don't step back. You, you're going to be a corpse yeah, right like, yeah. him. <laughs> like, you're going to join him, dude. Oh, man. Oh, uh, man. I... Yeah, I gotta see on, give me one second. I gotta come on, bro. This shit wants to fuck with me now. I have to show you guys this now. Give you one second. Bro, bro, you guys are gonna fucking laugh. I promise you're gonna laugh. I even got a video of a car blew up in uh in Las Vegas. <laughs> they even had to blow up that Yeah. Shot show 2016. I blew up a car. Yo, I think probably had like no oil in that shit. Nah, we fucking um the car the car was damaged. It damaged uh I'll tell you exactly where it damaged. So that year they were filming Jason Bourne that week during um that week of shot show. The fit the scene where they were uh if you seen Jason Bourne, I think that's the last one. There was that scene where the uh armored car was crashing through all the cars on the strip. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so some of the cars really did get damaged because uh, I was with an unnamed person who <laughs> fell asleep behind the wheel and he crashed into the movie set. Oh, man, he's so busy watching this shit. But but it was a rental car that I said that morning. I was like, yeah, we're going to blow this fucking car up. And yeah, we did. <laughs> I, I took yeah, that. Be I like took, the mayhem. I took the car back just as big like you. Like yo, that's what happened. I mean, you know, yo, we we hit a wolf. <laughs> Ran up like, damn, that's what happened. Like, <laughs> oh, hold on, and like, hey, at least he brought you back the keys and the and, and like and like the recycled. <laughs> that's what I look up on American Express. It, it covered the insurance. <laughs> yo, he, he, yo, man, that's why the dog on like Mayhem be trying to tell them on their commercials. They don't be listening to shit. Mayhem be everywhere. I don't know where it does that. I don't know. He must be having technical difficulties. I don't know. He's trying to find that video. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, they probably be like, yo, I bet you the armor that's like at the police station. He probably like, man, I wish I could be like Tom, man. I can't work on guns for shit. <laughs> Yo, I even had a trading card too, man. Oh, snap. That's your trading card? Yeah. <laughs> let me find out. Yeah. Oh, man. Let me find out. Yeah, some dude, some dude made these cards, man. And fucking uh some dude made these cards. He ended up dying, man. He was a good dude, man. But he made these yeah, cards yeah. for the department guys, man. Dang, he was like looking out for people, man. That's good, man. Yeah. And everybody, a lot of people got on me. They're like, "Why are you the only one in your in your uh card wearing gloves?" Well, I had a cast on my arm. Oh, so you didn't want people to see it? Nah, like, I didn't know. want people to see it. Yeah, I, I broke my arm in a car accident. He said, "Oh man, oh man, they go have a dream that Tom partner of our first day, I traded day." <laughs> oh boy, he'd be like. Yo, Tom, so where the office at? You in the office, baby. That's right. Yeah, I broke my arm in a car accident. Some fucking chick. Some chick in a clown suit hit my car, man. <laughs> you got the clown, the chick in the clown suit hit, hit, hit the car. You know that was? She probably was drunk as hell. Nah, she was on the way to, uh, she was on the way to the fucking, she, she did Halloween parties. She was on the way to a Halloween party. Oh man, just rushing to get fucking, there and shit. Couldn't take her uh, time. Ran a, yeah, ran a red light and made a left into me. Yo, she do the Philly roll and shit. Nah, so funny as shit. Funny as shit. I went to beat the horn and the airbag deployed. So I, you know, I'm thinking I'm cool and shit. I'm like, oh, I'm good. This she get out the car screaming and hollering. Oh, oh, my dad's the police. My dad's <laughs> the police. Yeah, they're gonna sue you. I said, you don't say. The cop showed up and she learned a whole different story. Was like, yeah. So you said, who's the police? He, he up there, like, hey, 
he's the police. They'd they be like, you was in the rough for hitting him. That's they, she was, she was looking man. real stupid, man. I'm, I'm like, people don't be thinking, man. They do shit. They just don't be thinking. I remember I bought one of these when I used to be a Chevy guy. Oh, you ended up getting one of those? Yeah, I had uh, two of them. Yeah, them had Corvettes, them. like, Corvettes was nice, though. Like, that go, like those models? Yeah, I had a, uh, I had that one, and I had a blue one. Then I started buying Dodges all crazy. Now I got a million Dodges. Oh, man, did y'all say that, that uh, Dark Scream got nuked? Oh, shit, what happened? The Dark, uh, what, they shut him down? Who? Um, DLD after dark. They shut him down. Hey man, what happened? So three D printed fire? Are you next to a game animal? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You mean tell me they ended it for? Oh man, yeah, that's what I mean. See, social media just be getting soft, man. Yeah, it, it's bad, man. Just getting soft, man. That's why I said I was like, that's why I told people, I'm like, yo, if you in this game for money, boy, you you, you better be uh thinking about something else because it ain't happening. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm about to start pulling pranks on people and shit. Don't get clapped doing that. <laughs> You're walking around, just be like, they're like, yo, where attack at, man? I'm like, oh man, tax in the hospital. He pulled trying to pull a prank on somebody and. Somebody capped him. <laughs> Yo, you guys ready? Yeah. Ready. You guys can see it? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so <laughs> wait, wait, that's one. That's one video. Hold on, fuck. I, <laughs> yo, bro. Hold on, fuck. I sent it to you. I wait for the other one to send to my email. I sent both of them to you, Tom. Yo, uh, when you guys see the other one, you're gonna die. You just see homeboy with a backpack, bro. Like, and if you can see, there's not a soul, bro. There's not a soul. I'm literally driving like four mile an hour. Oh man, there's nobody out there. Dark country night. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yo. <laughs> oh, man. Shit, you couldn't pay me to walk out there. I'd be like, dad, I'd be afraid, like, the kind of Kruger or something come out there or some shit, me hungry. Or, yeah, that's what I'm shit. Come on, Tack. I'd be, <laughs> like, like, be like, I don't know. See, in Maryland, I'm like, I don't know if anybody be packing them with their dude be walking. Oh, help me, man. I'm getting chased. But that's your problem, dog. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you better run faster. I'm telling you, bro, that shit had me dying. You, I told it, uh, you said, uh, uh, dark, dark shit got uh, nuked. Yeah, they say he got nuked. They say they showed a picture like a 3D printed gun with uh, next to a next to some kind of animal or something or whatever. Yeah, they be on that shit. Yeah, he got to take it easy. Yeah, man, they be on that shit, man. Damn. <laughs> Tell you, man. Yeah, they nuked him, man. That's the same. DLD always in the doghouse, but that's all right. I like how he does what he wants, man. You know what I mean? Unfiltered. That's how it should be. It's freedom of speech. People yeah. don't like it. Hold on, wait. That's the same one. I don't wait for it to come. Yo, again. yo, that does blow the horn in that fool. Bro, that's not me, bro. That's the car on the fucking. Uh, yo, bro. I'm, oh, oh, that's that car. I, I said, and I'm trying to like compress it and send it every which way I can. The other one. Yo, man, oh, that's that's like his car that's beep. Yeah, that's red. Yeah, bro, what do you mean? That's up. not my car, bro. I'm driving. Yeah, I thought you were beeping there. I'm like, hey, man, you all right? I'm <laughs> good. The guest shared a hunting photo. Then they must be Damn. sitting there just watching his live, like, oh, gotta shut him down. 
Yeah, man, they sent some lot of stuff, man. I'm like, uh, yeah. So let me ask you this. Does anybody know if he was using StreamYard or his phone? I don't know. Because that, that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my oh, man. <laughs> that is... He don't know what to his leg. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's my brother. That's the that's the other owner of Surplus Arm. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Why do they gotta do this shit? It's what they do, man. Yeah, man. They popping out. The, you get yeah, the feds probably over uh, on their way to his house now. Huh? Nobody knows the trouble I've been through. <laughs> That's Nobody not the... knows the pain it has caused. Fuck. I gotta hit up. I gotta hit him up. Yeah, I know he's pissed, man. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be pissed too. Should be, man. I'm like, I'm like, you know, that's what they do. They censor, man. Censor everything. It's all up to no good. <laughs> There's a story behind that. Oh boy. I was that... somebody... Nah, I went this uh served a search warrant on this dude. And I was in his living room. And I was from his camera. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Oh shit, man! Right, hold on. Let me. Uh, I got the other video. That, that, that was that was from his camera. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a new. Right, the first time I see some shit like that, man. You guys can see it. Yeah. Dog. Oh man. <laughs> Yo, we like walking with his head down. Dog, who is this nigga, bro? Hit that circle back, looked at that nigga. Yo, bro, that dude was like. Nobody's going to know that's his car. Yo, bro, he was the. Yo, I promise you, bro, that dude was the only person in a five mile radius outside of me. The only person. I said, bro, come on now. Like. That that oh, bro, that was that was uh that was yeah sometime last year, bro. Sometime last year. Yo, he was trooping, so, so man. I can beat that video. What? I can beat that. I can beat those videos. Oh, I don't. I don't doubt it. I, I don't. I don't doubt it. I one bit. I'm just nah. saying that that just reminded me of like people nah. doing shit and like trying to nah. act like they didn't do shit. Check this shit out. Hold on. Oh, the sound's not on. Sorry. Thank you for two ladies. Don't make that on time. I have no. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> 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 Can you hear me? <laughs> 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 Yo, man, do it on that trank, man. I, I mean, I know they be doing a lot of trank up there in Philly area, but I changed my mind. So Yo, y'all know. Man. So, so do y'all know what that video was, or y'all know what that noise was? That's a goat. Nah, that. So, you ever see that video of the bear eating a uh, deer? Oh, okay, okay. So we pulled up to McDonald's one night, and I went to the drive-thru, and I played that video, and I just kept saying, "Can you hear me?" And and it would scream. They're like, the goes, "I can hear you." Well, they called the cops on us. They called the Delaware State Police on us. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> They called the Delaware State Police. 
yo, they hated me at that McDonald's, man. There was yo, another right. time. Uh, there was another time I had a Halloween. But there was another time I had a Halloween decoration. It was a big rat, a styrofoam rat. Oh man! And I walked inside that McDonald's. I opened the door, and I said, "Yo, look what I found in the bag!" And I threw it in the McDonald's. They cleared everybody the fuck out. <laughs> Yo, like, oh man! You know, <laughs> oh man! Yeah. And then the cops came and everybody and they knew I was like fucking they knew I was a cop then and they were like yo what the fuck dude and I'm like yo I we just having fun man <laughs> I, I, hate I hate McDonald's and I hated that one. Oh man, you know what Tom told him? Hey, don't worry, don't take it seriously. It's just business. Yeah, like that shit was funny as shit though. <laughs> yo, that is fucking hilarious. That makes so me yo, like, bro, you make me want to go to my Google Drive and really like see what the fuck is going on on there <laughs> yo that is that is so funny yo you know i'm gonna have to start rolling the, the dog on car dash cam man some of the shit i'll be seeing on the road i'm like man oh yeah especially when i go to the city like dc i'll be seeing a lot of shit <laughs> he said tom sees all the wild shit lady tries to stay a helicopter on live <laughs> oh yeah 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 that was <laughs> oh man it's the shit that happens up here hell yeah i'm telling you bro anything's possible in this yes i gotta visit the city of brotherly love don't get it twisted they got some nice places to eat up there though that's that's crazy but yeah bro i think it's about that time guys yeah man we enjoyed tom appreciate you stopping in too man we enjoyed you man yeah, Much like love, love talk up in here, y'all. Nah, I, I'll be back more regularly again, man. You know, for sure, bro. You, you know, know, you always welcome, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. You you know, know, I, I had to chill for a little bit with this keezy shit, but you know, I feel you, bro. I mean, it'll all work itself out one way or another. One of our regulars. Oh man, he got the cowboy cap on. Yo, I feel like that's how Big Easy looks. <laughs> yeah, I, feel like, I feel like that's that's big easy if he's still here Might like you know, some of the people some of the people on the chat right like you see them like once or twice but you really don't know exactly like who they are or how they look right until you meet them in person yeah. like og tank i thought og tank was some six five brolic ass dark ass dude from texas yeah, man, OG OG Tank is 5'7, light and creamy like. <laughs> Here go my flex on y'all, because I bet you half of y'all don't even know what this is. I thought it's a bolt action. Yeah, it's a bolt action. Wait for it. What is that? FM Ballista. Fuck! I never. I, I, I bought one, I, I got that, and I got that for a steal. I bet I got yeah. that for a steal, man. Those ain't cheap neither. Nah, I got uh, a for I, a steal. I barely, with I with barely, a night for with a night force NX four. Ooh, bro! I want to shoot that. Huh? I haven't pulled that. I've never shot that gun. I've had that gun now since I've had that gun now seven years. Never shot it. That's crazy. What is it? 338? 338 and it had a uh and it has a 308 barrel. Mm. That thing's probably beast mode. Yo, remember when I you remember when we was having the conversation on who got it? Tom got it. That's oh, right. Yeah, and, that, and that goofy ass uh I have a I have a uh whatever la la Lahiti or Lati. Yo. Tom yeah, died. yeah, I got a, I got a twenty millimeter Lottie coming in my high school picture. Tom got it. Damn. <laughs> yo, Tom. delete that part. Yeah, yo, yo, Tom, you look like you fucking lighting up garbage cans and singing doo wop with the boy. He's on the corner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah man, you like yo, yo, you know the boys and Mary. He was a little like yo, y'all mind if I blow say some harmony with y'all? No, get out the block. Yo, that was my uh. That's my fucking senior portrait. 
Man. Tom, that is funny, bro. Yo, absolutely too many. Yo, too many choices. A lot of will shoot through a small mountain. Yeah. If it's a small mountain, it will not be there for long. That's yeah. It. So yeah, we got we got one man transfer fully transferable. So, he said, "Would you yeah, sound terrible?" That's crazy. Uh -huh. Fully transferable, transferable too. Yeah, fully, fully transferable. So and it's uh, it's and it's cheap too. What are one of those rounds? Oh, it's coming. It's actually coming with the ammo. Guns I don't know there. what the rounds cost. I don't know much about a lot of you. I know a motherfucker hit me up and was like, yo, you want to buy this? I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, even the fuck the fucking uh bipod was on skis. That's my crazy. Camera. Yo, my camera. He said they use them to start avalanches. Yeah. Yo. They use them to shoot down planes. Yeah, but my camera got smoked, man. That shit was smoking. I had to unplug that shit earlier. So that's why I'm rocking without the video. Man. <laughs> that's crazy. But yo, guys, we're going to end it Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Much love, everybody. Tom, thank you for stopping by and giving us the updates on, uh, all right, on yo. and sharing all the funny yeah, ass man. stories, dog. Yeah. You're more than welcome. Always, you know this. Yeah, always welcome, yeah. everybody. Stay yeah, safe. Tomorrow's my, tomorrow's my birthday. I'm yeah, happy celebrate. birthday too, man. You can't I stop the age, I don't cake. I don't. I don't want shit. So everybody, everybody, make sure you go say happy birthday to Tom. Fuck yeah, yeah. go flood his DM. Plus Army, Instagram. Make sure you flood that shit. Happy don't birthday. Do that. Happy birthday, bro. Everybody, much love. We out. All right, y'all. Later.